Okay. As soon as I can see my video, watch. I go and I, I go to management videos. I can actually see it already up and running. Yep, I see it right there. Of course. So there we go. I at least got the video up and running. Oh no, I. That's not. I want to. Hmm. And watch. Yeah, still, I I'm sitting here trying to get my, I'm trying to get the video open. So I can add it to the playlist. But I don't see it. So I just lose out of that. There we go. Okay. So. Oh, come on! Now what? Okay, let's see if the lady's working again. Copy that. And come on. Please, lady. You worked yesterday. <sighs> lady not working. So. Just pin that. Whatever. So, lady no work again. Lady no work again. He worked yesterday. And I'll be right back. I gotta go help something.
Okay, so that took a long time. Uh, hi, Mika. I don't know if you're still watching, but... Uh. Anyways. Sorry I missed you. But I'm pretty sure you'll be back, but... Um... We'll get to let me get the game running here. Okay. Basically what happened was my mom found a trailer. I went to go help her bring it bring it up and back into the backyard. That's what I had to do. And me and my brother just spent some time looking at it and figuring out how to get it to work with the bike. It's not wanting to work. Not yet, at least. But we'll get it. You just gotta do some modifications. But anyway, it's actually a rather nice trailer for what it is. I mean, it's really huge. I mean, uh, trailer and all would be about this high. Off the, you know, off the ground. So, you know, if it was actually standing right here next to me, it would be this high. So, you know, it'd be good enough for carrying big gro amounts of groceries. Or big stuff, but... Anyways, um... So, yeah, yesterday what you guys didn't see was apparently, as bad as it was, that this substory here, it did not let me view... let you guys view for some odd and unknown reason, okay? You guys saw me play OutRun. You guys saw me talk to her. So what's the big effing deal? What's the problem here? I talked to her. I played the game. What's the... What, what, so what's the problem? What is the problem there? Why did it get blocked? Of me playing that game. I mean, I'll go, I'll go take a trip down there, and we'll, we'll go play the game. You guys will be first-hand viewing of, like, that'll make sense. As soon as we get there without fighting, or as many fights as we can. Darn it. Ouch. Now let me take a look at something. I, I played a game. A game after you, you basically you just unlock a game afterwards for doing the sub story. So now I'm, I'm just going to check the uh, game's score. Yeah, it's right there. So I need also five million, and I got three. But anyways, that's beside the point. What? <laughs> Die here, and he was again down the road. He was standing right here. That guy we just beat up, and there was a guy standing right here watching us. Oh my god. If only I mean I I really do a that is a rare super rare occurrence. But my god, I wish I could have fought both those guys, but no. Every fight in the surrounding area goes bye bye. So but anyways. Um so yeah. See, right here's the game. It's all we did, we unlocked this game here. But this is the... Let me jump right on. Yeah. 
Where to make the game? The Click on me right under my video to access my channel. Then look for the community tab, and at the top, you can vote for the next game you got. How did I catch you so soon? Peekaboo. Okay, the lady is now is working, but not working. But she's working right now because she's repeating of what was already said. Seriously, lady. Anyways, see. Anyways. Get ready. But yeah, I, I mean, you guys are right now viewing me playing this game. So what's what was what you know like what, why why was that blocked? You know why why was this blocked? I mean talking to her was not, but it was the playing the game though. Playing the We had to pull the brake there on that one. Move out of the way! But yeah, if you're having a hard time playing this game, go right. It's a, it actually is a whole lot easier going down this way. I don't know why, but it is. But yeah, I'll show you how, how to get like 5 million. It's actually, it's, it's all rather easy. You just hit the brake whenever you need to get around a car, you know, if you're about to hit a, afraid to hit a car, or about to hit that. You only, in this game, you're only allowed two hits. If you crash twice, game over. Okay, it is game over. You crash twice in this. Crash once, you can still manage to get through the whole entire game. But crash twice, you're 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 you know you're not gonna make it. You're you're gonna be stopping eventually. Oh, that's a crash. And yeah, that that was a crash. Whenever your car has to be reset to the center of the map, that's it. Now the next, let's go left. That's the next one and see we were, like I said two crashes we didn't even get to our checkpoint but we just you just need three million to beat the score and yeah I know you're, you're right now seeing my score is four not point nine million there What it is, is I beat the five mil doing the um I I beat the five million points uh on challenging her. Like I really overdone the score. But yeah, you just you just go right, left, right is all. That's all you do until you hit five. Whenever the road starts saying, hey, you need to go choose either left or choose right. First time, go right. Second time, go left. Third time, I'm not really saying that it's easier that way, but it's more like just choose that direction going right, left, right until you hit your five mil. Okay? But, yeah. The game actually gets... Like, like I said, crash twice, game over before you even get to the next checkpoint. Okay, crash once, you'll you'll just barely make it with just a, a couple seconds to spare. Okay, you'll have a cup a few seconds to spare, a couple seconds. It it just depends. But otherwise, if you don't, as long as you don't crash and don't slow down as much, you'll make it. 
Um, but also I did the uh, Pocket Circuit Stadium, so that got done too because I was like, I still have plenty of time, so that you know I got that done. Okay. So yep, all that got done. I'll show you in the sub story. Oops, sub story. Right there, fighters count. That was us racing against a uh, fighter, you know, pocket circuit fighter. I got it done by pure luck. So, um, but anyways, there, all that nasty drinks gone. <clears throat> but anyways, so at basically after beating pocket circuit fighter. You, you are now allowed to re-challenge everyone that you've challenged in the story. Uh, you know, in the sub-story chain, okay? Now... Let's see. Okay. Whoop. Oh. Oh. Um. Oh. Hmm. Oh man, I so want that money. Welcome again. Hi again, Mr. Shakedown of Igashira. Hey, you. You again? Don't you ever get tired of this? I was looking for you. Wanted to thank you. For what? You showed me that I was still weak. A far cry from being the strongest living creature on the planet. <clears throat> so I went to the wildest of mountains to retain, retrain myself. I wrestled with tigers and bears. Endured extreme weather. And forged a stronger body in the process. Tigers and bears? I'm surprised you came back alive. Yeah, but I ran out of funds and had to cut it short. So here I am. Hold on. If you were camping in the wilderness, isn't that practically free? I couldn't just go up any mountain. I guess skiing is really popular these days and people are everywhere. I needed a place where I could focus on training away from tourists. So I bought a mountain. That way no one else can use it. It was good value for the money. You beat people up and use the money to buy a mountain? If that's not crazy, I don't know what is. Ordinary people don't get it. I know. Anyway, I've gotten all I can from mountain training. I need to find a more unforgiving environment to push my natural limits. So I came back to collect my, the necessary funds. And who do I meet right away, if not you? It's gotta be, be fate. It's not fate. It's bad luck. I have no idea if training made you stronger, but I'm not about to let you mug me. Fine. Bring it on. I'll think of it as part of my training. And I'm going to take all the cash you've got. Gotta immediately swap. And yes, he's got more health. We just can't let him hit us. Oh! Crap, 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 crap! <laughs> Gonna do a little cheating! Um, yeah. As long as it says toughness, that's health. If it says stamina, that does both health and heat. We don't really need heat. That's why that's there. 
Oh, that was not enough health. Not enough. This guy can one hit kill us. Flyer in rush mode. As soon as he's blocking, we gotta like move out of the. Whoa! Whoa! That was close. It hurt, but it was close. No! 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 Oh boy! No! I didn't want to. Oh crap. No! Uh. Uh. Ah crap! No! God damn it. Hold on. I cannot focus with my watch on wrist. It's like really hot out. Ah, oh, come on. Off the fucking wrist. God. Whatever, I'll pick it up afterwards. This guy's like super tough. And he's got like a Freaking mil on a hundred mil on him. Stop it, headset! Seriously, it's really effing terrible. It's really warm out today. Like, really extremely warm. Like, I need to turn on my fan kind of warm. The sun's beating down, and the wind's blowing. It's nice out, really. But, it's, like, hot. Like, I don't even have my door there shut, like it should be, so. Oh, that's right, I was gonna... when you get a headset to hear crap up and be a real pain in your well more than what a pain in the butt would be seriously and I lost my he, this uh, the reason why I need the sound is because I'm right now using the sound as a way to indicate he's almost done with his attack. Like he's making the sound as he's initiating his attack and by the time he's almost done, when he's done speaking, the attack's almost done. So...
Especially when this is not a good area to be fighting in. It's too narrow. Yeah, he can change styles all he wants, but it's his, it's his attacks that are different. They're not gonna be the same. His attacks are just gonna be the same, it's... He can change styles all he wants. Attacks are photograph or telegraph too. Come on, one more attack. There we go. And defeated. Woohoo! 100 mil. In the bank. And we took 53 mil? Hmm. Time you gave it up. Secret mount, se secret training in the mountain wilderness was no use. Fine, I just need to undergo even harsher training. You just don't learn, do you? If I'm to stand at the apex of all organisms, that means I gotta defeat you first. I'm planning on doing just that. You haven't seen the last of the strongest living creature. Mm-hmm. But hey, we got 80 mil. Means I could spend m more money on here, but we need we need more health. Okay, we definitely need that. Just be lucky that all of these actually just build right into in total so so there we go we already spent our 60 mil of our 50 that we spent well earned we spent 60 of our 50 no wait my math is wrong oh no we did okay yeah 60 million yen to our uh, 53 mil that we earned. Anyways. Get more money when you defeat Mr. Shakedown. Oh yeah. We need four more to be get money magnet. This will be unlocked almost qu very super quick the moment we actually are. Okay. No. There it is.
Okay. Now then, I need to visit a certain special place, so I need to find out if it's not here. Karaoke bar. Now, I don't know if it's going to block the scene, but I mean, there's nothing wrong about it. And the guy's gone. Hey, it's Mr. Stop and Search. Mm. We just gotta keep handing them items that are not dangerous. I Meaning we don't hand them any weapons. Okay? Hello, welcome to Gandhara. <clears throat> we charge 800 yen for one view. Watch a video. We gotta watch like three, so... Which video do you want to watch? We And I should have more than three now. Hmm. One, two, three. Yep, there's our three. Yep. Now, if, if the viewing gets blocked for you guys, I, I, I feel bad for either YouTube or PlayStation, okay? Because this is not really NSFW stuff here. It's not. So, let's find out. Mind you, this was in the 80s. Not the game, but the game's taking place in the 80s. But nowadays, that's... Sh that, that kind of stuff is just sexy. Okay, that's just sexy. It's not... It's not... It's not kind of... No, it's not the... Real adult stuff. Real adult stuff I can find on the internet here for free. Anyways, that was one. Gotta do this three times.
we're just seeing girls in bikinis. That's something you can see at a beach! If you want to see girls in a bikini, go to a beach. My town has a beach. And we're, we don't, we're not even like a... But yeah, not a lot of people know about the beach here in, in this town. So hidden from sight, it's terrible. Uh. Oh yeah, and your heat increases if if you had no heat. That the heat bar, if you had no heat and you came in here, it would build up. So. Well, I ate all my pizza rolls, although it was all cold near the end. Mm. Oh yeah, I ate all those. No, I don't want... Well, like I can't... Eh, nah, whatever. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Damn. Huh. Hard to chew. There we go. That should be three. Okay, we go in for a fourth, and you again. I can't help it. I love her. Let me watch it again, please. Please calm down. What's the problem? Oh, I'm sorry. Welcome, sir. So what's going on? Well, this gentleman keeps asking to watch a video. I want to watch it. I really do. What's wrong with that? Isn't that what this shop is for? Just let him watch it. It's not that simple. He's always watching just this one video. The same video every time. Haha. <laughs> well, the girl in that video is the sweetest creature on the face of the earth. She must be really cute to have you hooked on her video like that. You got me interested. See, this is why it's such a problem. Don't get me wrong. I appreciate customers who come here every day. But if someone's watching the same video day after day, all the time, then other customers don't get to see it at all. But I like that video. Why can't you just watch something else for a change? There are plenty of other cute girls. That'd be cheating. And I'm not a cheat. There's only room for one girl 
in my heart, and that spot's already taken. See what I have to deal with? What am I supposed to do with him? The girl in the video must be something special. I'd like to see her clip, but I can't if he's going to watch it again. See? Will you please tell him something to make him come to his senses? We can watch it together if you want. Nani. You want to watch a sexy video together. I get to watch the video again and show off the queen of my heart to another guy. Two birds with one stone. Mm. Not sure how I feel about this. <sighs> Please, just sort it out between yourselves. Let's watch that video together. Come on, I'll pay. Uh... We have to watch the video together in order to continue this story. Uh... Anyways. <clears throat> well, I just lost flavor. It means I got... Oh, it was already cranked. Huh. I mean, the flavor's still there, but I can barely taste it, so... I guess it's done. So... And eeny meeny miny mo, catch a tiger by its toe. If he hollers, let him go. I, 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 eeny meeny miny mo, catch a tiger by its toe. If it hollers, let him go. Eeny meeny miny mo. Okay, I had to get it back in my head. Anyway, so this one: strawberry watermelon is the new flavor of my drink. I mean, the drink's different. Gonna be like different almost every day. But or maybe two days, I don't know. I mean, it's not like I'm drinking the whole thing. Oop, uh. Wait, there and there. Ah, tasty. All right, I don't mind. Yeah, now you guys can have fun making the jokes here. I can't really say these said jokes because you know it I, I if I say it shut down but hey you guys can say it in chat or even comment in it it's terrible I know you can comment and you guys can chat but if I was to say something like quite literally doing this shut down you know it's terrible I know <sighs> otherwise, I, I wouldn't be. I, otherwise, I wouldn't be on this site. I wish I could go to some other site where I can say this kind of stuff that I want to say, but I'm only allowed two sites to do this on YouTube or Twitch. Not some other third party site that you guys might know the, what I'm talking about. So. But, anyways. Ow. Itch. Terrible. I don't know anybody in New York. I'm getting called by a New Yorker. Hey, I'm walking here, buddy. In this case, I'm streaming here, buddy. So stop calling. Anyways. Hey, they stopped. <laughs> that was ironic. Ah, I budged my phone. I'm just trying to swipe away stuff. Swipe. Oh, wait. There we go. I need you to stay at 100% until I'm done streaming for the day. There we go. Good. Okay. Now then. About this. This guy is going to make it awkward. You'll fall in love with that girl from the video just like I did. I'll get the tape. You go wait in a booth. Uh-huh. 
Normally you're supposed to watch these kind of videos alone. Normally. Okay? But this guy wants us to watch it with him. Mm. Feels a little crowded, doesn't it? He's just wanting to watch the video again. And he won't let us watch it ourselves. So we have to watch it with him. So we can't watch the video without him, basically. Come on, it's cozy. And watching this video next to another ma warm body, feeling another's breath on your skin, it adds realism to it, if anything. Right. But in this case, it's two guys in one room. Your warm body does nothing for me. My points exactly, Kiryu. My thoughts exactly. Hush! It's starting. We also get to keep the tape so we can watch it without the guy in the video. No. Being there with us. Man, she's cute. Yeah, she is. Then again, Kiryu, I'm pretty sure you'd say that about every girl. Right? Right? That's why I've watched this clip like a thousand times already. Daddy. That's a lot. Why did you get so obsessed with this video? Ha ha ha. That's a silly question. It should be obvious. It's because I fell in love. You fell in love with a girl from a video? She's an idol or actress or something, right? That's right. I love her. A girl I can watch but never touch. I know it's hopeless, but I can't help it. I guess you can't. You'd understand how I feel if you fell in love with a girl. Love makes reason and logic go out the window. Hmm. That is somewhat true. Can't deny that. Man, she was just as gorgeous as ever today. Yeah, I can sort of see why you would be so into her. I think about her every day. She's all I can think about. I love her so much I can barely eat. It's crushing me. But you're pinning, you're whatever, pining over a woman you've never, you've never and may never meet. Why not go meet a girl you can actually speak to? That's what's making things worse for me. According to her official profile, she lives in Camarocho. That means there's a chance, right? Huh. You think so? I want to see her, even if it's just once. I think it will free me from this moment. Torment. I know. Can you please help me? If you see a girl in the, in the video, can you please tell me? Wh what? Why me? Yeah, why? Cure you. Why can't you go look for her yourself? I've been looking for her my whole life, man, but with two pairs of eyes out there, I'll double my chances. That's true, but... <clears throat> Please.
please? We're like soul brothers. We were both turned on by her video. We both panted and gasped together. No, that was just you, buddy. <laughs> Don't make this creepy. Exactly. Please. You know what she looks like, and you seem to know your way around Kamurocho. If you were to turn me down, I wouldn't know who to turn to. He's tormented by his love for an unattainable girl. Well, I suppose I can at least tell him if I ever see her. Okay, alright. I'll help you. R really? You will? Oh, thank you so much! Just in case it helps, her profile said that she loves Korean barbecue. BBQ, or barbecue, basically. And she likes to go bowling, and to the bagging center, too. <laughs> Alright, got it. Yes. I'll watch her video again and look for clues. Thanks for... Thank you for helping. Watching her video again does not give you a clue. What, whatever. Uh, yes. You rang. <laughs> Now, of course, we go over here. Hmm. hmm. Phew! What a feast! I am so full. That woman. I know her from somewhere. That's it. She looks like the girl in that Gandharo video. Mm. I ate so much, I feel a little sleepy. Maybe I'll just rest here for a bit. Mm. The guy who's in love with her is hanging out in front of Gandhara. I promised I'll, I'd tell him if I saw the girl somewhere. Guess I have to follow through. Can, you, can we just first ask her her name? I am full. I better rest a little to recover. Mm. The guy who keeps watching this girl's video is waiting in front of... Yeah. We may have to go back that way, Kiryu, but at least talk to the girl first. Get some effing information, dude. Before the things turn south here. But unfortunately, he's not going to want to do that. So we're going to turn things south. Oh. Hello. Do you have any luck finding my video dream girl? Uh. Yeah, I saw her. What? You did? Really? Where on earth did you find her? In front of the Korean barbecue place, Conrai. Get going. She may still be there. Oh? So it was true. She really does like Korean barbecue. That's so adorable. Oops. What am I doing? I have to go. Even if it's just for a moment. I want to see her. I need to meet her. Oh, come on. One sec.
There we go. Okay. <sighs> that was the farmer's my pharmacy calling, so anyways. Resume. Thank you for telling me about her. <laughs> he ran off towards Conray. Maybe I'll swing by later to see how things turn out. No, we better go now because things are not going well, buddy. What if things turned out good for you, Kiryu? I mean, always in the end, but... Um, excuse me, you're, uh... You were in a video, weren't you? Huh? <laughs> Looks like you finally got to meet the girl in the, from the video. I... I've been watching you over and over. I've only had eyes for you. I... I love you. Whoa. He just dialed it up way too fast. I... I'm sorry. Huh? Your answer is no? God damn. One sec. There we go. Okay. Well, of course it is. Ah! Oh! What the heck was that? You know, wrist didn't hurt, elbow didn't hurt. No, it was the arm. The arm. Holy crap. That hurt. I was like, I was like what the hell? There's no... Yeah, there's muscle, but... It was like... But you... How does... Whatever. I, I'm... Whatever. The human body is a confusing thing. Why would you reject me? Is my love for you not enough? N no, it's not that. I don't think I'm that video girl you're talking about. Say what? No, no, that can't be right. I know what I saw. Are you pulling my leg? No, I've never been in any video I can think of. You must be thinking of someone else. No, but you look just like her. You have to be kidding. I get that sometimes. People tell me I look like this idol and that girl. Maybe I look like her a lot. I can't believe you're not her. The face of a rejected man is a sight for sore eyes. But no small wonder, the guy declares his love in two se sentences, goes down in flames, and... And it's not even her. It's partly my fault for pointing him to the wrong girl. I should apologize later. Hey, look at that babe. Hot damn. Whoa, no shit. Those legs go on forever. Hmm? <laughs> Say, sweetie, you even know how cute you are? Why don't you come party with us? Um, no. I'm not that kind of... Aw, come on, sweetheart. Don't be that way. It'll be fun. You'll love how we treat you. P please let me go. Uh, um... Tell you what. We'll just drop by a hotel for a quickie. It won't take long, and you can be on your way. Deal? N no Um, excuse me. I think you're scaring her. Huh? This is a... This is an A-B conversation, pal. So, see your way out. Um, that's terrible, but... Yeah. What? You got some beef with us? You really gonna get all up in our business? Me? Well, um... I'm a big fan of an idol that she looks like. Hmm. Ah! I just... Ah, great. Uh, one sec. Where's my flashlight? I gotta find... There it is. Oop. There it is. Ugh. Inspecting and... No hair. It's good. It's a hard shell. It's one of those hard shell gums, anyway. So, 
can't really get anything of a hard shell quit uh dirty real quick so you know if an m, &M drops on the ground as long as it doesn't you know and you pick it up it should be fine for a so anyways i know there's a whole five quote five second rule but whatever it doesn't really it, it's a real confusing thing with the five second rule it's either five seconds from when you drop it or five seconds from when you pick it up uh, of how long you get you pick it up people are very picky about that and basically the whole, so if you really want if you really care about the whole five second rule then just go with the five seconds of picking it up okay because as long as it doesn't have any disgusting appearance appearances to it okay or it doesn't smell bad or anything no no physical change in appearance or smells bad whatever you're fine okay you, you'll be fine trust me wait you're a fan of an idol who looks like her so you got nothing to do with this chick at all yeah that's right and just now I mixed her up with the idol I liked declared my love and got shot down what the hell so you got nothing to do with this with the girl and she just rejected you right and you're still here why it's because I love the girl in that video yeah but you just said this ain't her so this really doesn't have anything to do with you Aww. shut up it has everything to do with me I don't care about your dumb logic <sighs> screw it this goof's giving me a headache a shot to the jaw would shut your trap <laughs> yeah Hold it. Uh, who's this gorilla? It, it's you. I'm responsible for getting you into this mess. If you don't mind, I'll clean it up. It, yes, please. Oh, we'll do more than clean up. This could get rough. I'd keep your distance. Y you sure? Uh, okay. Uh -huh. Fuck this, you're both gonna take a beating of your damn lives. Sorry for bothering you. <laughs> the guy on my, well, on Kiryu's right, but the left side. He, he's acting all, oh god, that was such a tough fight. But he did all the work, and we defeated both guys before even he took a hit. <laughs> <laughs> you really held your own. Uh, I was just desperate. I don't know what I was doing. Thanks for stepping in, but why are you even here? Well, put it inside the creepy factor. You're just a dude in love with a girl. I felt compelled to see it through. Oh, I see. Well, I'm so glad you came. Uh, ow, ow, ow. uh are you alright? Uh, E yes, yes, I am. Um, thank you for saving me. You're not hurt, are you? Oh, what a relief. But why did you do this? I just turned you down. Why would you... Ha uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Why would you... Why would you come to my rescue? I'm not even the girl from your video. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not really sure. All I knew was that protecting you was the right thing to do. Huh? 
You weren't the idol of my dreams, but that's beside the point. I couldn't just turn a blind eye because you weren't who I thought you were. Mistaken identity or not, I'm still a man of principle. Being rejected and you needing help are on a different scales. So I jumped in. And now you came back, concerned for my safety. You did that for a guy like me. I can't tell you how happy I am. That video doesn't matter anymore. I, I'm drawn to you as a real person. We may have met under strange circumstances, but may I ask if you'd go out with me? This is the first time in my life anyone has approached me with so much passion. But, I'm sorry. Rejected twice! Eh? No! After all you said? But why? Why are you turning me down again? Because I just fell in love. Take a wild random guess with who? F fell in love? Just now? Yes. Hmm. What? <laughs> what? What's going on? Ah! S sorry. This can't be happening. Really sorry. Well, we are the guy who just took out two guys in one move. Basically. Anyways, I, I don't think we've, uh, ate in here. I like to order everything off your effing menu, buddy. Everything. Thank you for coming. We hope to see you again soon. There we go. Anyways, um, but how we need to go to... Where's this? There's a store. I, I, I don't know where it's at. There it is. And... Okay. Well, that way. Oh look, it's that guy. Hey buddy, how's it going? I wanna show my bike. Ow, I wanted to show you my bike here, you jerk. I wanna show him my bike, my cool bike. But no. You want to be a jerk about it. You know, Shay must be. Hmm. We can buy a bunch of stamina and royals. Yeah, there's no reason to even buy this anymore since we got the bottom of stomach perk. So, but we're going to just buy a few of these. So we got one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. We're about to go sell that plate, so. 
whoop, uh, there we go, like so, and then, there we go, there we go. Now then, let's see. Um, sub stories. Okay, now I need to find out if I got all this chapter sub stories done. Oh yeah, we gotta go to the Maharaja. That's right. Miracles there. We're going to. We're going dancing. Dancing. Aw, oh, man. Ooh. Gotta ignore him. There we go. いらっしゃいませ。Dance solo. Go easy. Trust me, this, this is hard. It is. Yeah. The game would be this. This would be easier if not for wireless controller. Wireless controllers have a harder time playing games like this. Okay, here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All we gotta do is just press the button as we move the ghost around, the ghost guy around. Two, one. God damn it. What is that? Just terrible. This is why I'm not dancing. I mean, I'm surprised I got three stars on it. And mind you, it's going to get tougher on harder difficulties. Hey, look, it's our, uh, rich guy, uh, our no Nobu Richie.
Man, move. There we go. So apparently Miracle Johnson is here at the club. But where, we do not know. Now do we? It's a little hard to maneuver around in here. See, the says right here, Miracle in Maharaja. And, well, he's not here. Well, he is here, but he's, he's not here because of the quest or the chapter we're on. So... Anyways, we'll, we'll at least do one of each song on here. So we've got Queen of Passion. I'm gonna make her mine. I want to take you home. Koi, no Disco Queen. And we already did Friday Night. Oh, damn it, wrong button. And yes, it, it's even harder yet when you can't even see the squares lining up just right for when you can press. It's terrible. Okay, I gotta use the bathroom, so I'll be right back.
Okay. Time to dance for a third time. Ugh. But yeah, this is terrible. This is such a terrible mini game. And this game came out after the like, like it went like Yakuza one, two, three, and then like zero or it came, this came out like after three or four or five or something. I don't remember. So whose smart idea was to make it into this kind of mini game? I'm pressing as it. That one I hit a wrong button. Ah. See, terrible. I'm. It's not me. It's the game. Cause it's like ask me to be precise. Basically, he's challenging us to a dance off. Okay. That's all it is. He's just. He's challenging us to a dance off. That's all this is. Okay. So I'm skipping his dialogue, because I'm. <laughs> Be here now how do I, I gotta find the there it is gotta find that guy in order to get out of here but yeah being challenged to a dance off and all it is is we just fight that guy well you know not physically fight but dance do a dance so yeah hey you know I can't really kick my feet, okay? Desk. So, you know, nah, 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 nah. hey, you know. Or, da 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 da. Anyways, um. You know, we'll, we'll, we'll get some telephone cards. Let's see what cards we can finish off, if I got any. <clears throat> okay, so... <clears throat> Fine, who do we got started then? It is Marina Shirashi. Marina, 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 Marina. Marina, Marina. Um, this would, of course, be A, so it would be B and C that we need. Um... Okay, so there and Marina's B is 
I mean, I I'm trying to make some money here. This is, this is, believe it or not, this is actually money making. We get five mil per, so. Cool. Now, if only I can figure out how to run. Like, the sprint. Oh, there we go. Haha, -ha, I found it! It's holding the, the interaction button. And I took a wrong turn at Albuquerque. Come on, Carrie, we're almost there. Bard Gate. What? Marina C. Uh, west of the Hotel District Taxi Stand is a Bard Gate. This is right in front of that gate. Hmm. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Apparently it's not here right now. Okay, fine. We'll go to the uh, another one, which is this way. Ah! Darn it. Oh well. We can just do this at least. Run, run, run. Run, run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch Kiryu because he's the gingerbread man. Yeah, I know. Ouch. You got lucky on your punches. But yeah, with more heat uh, in beast mode, the more damage we deal, though, somehow. Okay. Should be around here. Oh, there it is. Oh, and we were looking right at it, too. Okay, B. Now we got B, so maybe they're not wanting to show up until we get the previous? So we'll find that out. I mean, it shouldn't really matter. Hey, rich guy! Come on! Cool, guys. Here's my new moped. I want to show you my new moped. Here you go. You can have it. What? We said here, you can have it. Oh, that's right. We're going this way. Run away! It'd be pretty sad that we actually gotta get them in order. Is it supposed? Yeah. What the? So apparently they're not showing up until we actually get. Okay. So in other words, you can't just jump willy nilly from just spontane. You can't just be spontaneously random going to each or every location. It goes A B C A B C A B C A B C. No wonder why my thing is not going off. Even though we've been all up and down, frickin' the, uh, just everywhere. Okay. Yes, guys? You want to get beaten by a man in beast mode? That's what I heard, right? Here, it's easy. You just grab a guy like so and just, bam. And again, this time, there you go. That's how you get two guys in one move. Now... Just do a finishing move. You just punch with a headbutt, then grab the guy by the foot and slam him down. That's how you get beat. I kicked the dog. Oh, 
So many guys want to get defeated in beast mode. Yeah, anyways, um, oh yeah. Uh, next is... Miss Riona Minami. Riona Minami. I already... Riona Minami. Oh. We gotta go... Is it to the far south? Okay, yeah, it's south. We gotta go south. Oh, run, Kirio! Run! Run, 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 run to the room in the back of the orchard pallet. I know, it's a pallet. Kirio's fat. So, yep, holding down the same button to interact with people again. Look at that. Right, I'm gonna take a picture. Okay. I'll, I'll send it to my brother. Come on. He wants to fight. I want to save up my heat for a group battle. I don't really use heat on group fighting more than one guy, you know. It's... Reduces the rate the heat gauge drops over time. When you decide you can't take any more, dislocate both of the enemy's shoulders, bash their face in, and throw them. We guard with L1 and then press then R1 and triangle when hit. Only on the third bar. Nah, sixty-nine dot million yen. Well, sixty-nine point two. But anyways, let's all be special today and just laugh at the sixty-nine. Ha ha ha! We all get it. We are, we are not amused. But anyways, run, Kiryu, run, turn. Oh yeah, I forgot to sell the plate, didn't I? Yeah. We'll sell it right here. I mean, we're not that far from where we gotta go anyways. That and we got a guy chasing us. I don't want to get in another fight right now. Uh-oh. Gonna sneeze. Whew. Just the silver plate for 10,000 yen. But yeah, we're supposed to get to like chapter 5 to do the uh, real money making event, but we're, we're, we'll be like blazing through that in 5 seconds if I do all what I'm doing right now, okay? If I do all the sub stories carefully, 
you know, getting all, getting them all done, we'll, we'll be just sw uh, swimming in dough before, by the time we even start up Chapter 5, okay? Yeah, we can play Mahjong. Whoopee. Now, people don't know how to play Mahjong. Okay. First off, the kind of Mahjong that everyone sees is not the same Mahjong that is actually played here in Japan. Okay. So, if you're playing Mahjong with with the tiles and all that's not mahjong I mean it is because it's the tiles mahjong is the is the tiles okay but you should look up how to actually play mahjong you actually no we'll, we'll play one game it's really terrible costs only 25,000 yen so you know it's sure it's really complicated now, not even I understand the rules, okay? It's a complicated game. It's... it's a real complicated game. Mahjong Basics. Rules. Four players compete to be the first to complete a 14-tile hand. Hold on. Huh. That one... Weird smell. Trust me, you guys are lucky you don't have smell. There's no such thing as smell of vision but My god. What am I smelling? I mean, it's not me. Because that's what I was smelling. It's not me, because I'm not... It's like... I'm smelling like the cat peed recently. And I'm not smelling it. Well, well I'm smelling it, but I don't... I mean, he's not... He didn't pee... Uh, he, it wasn't recent either, so I'm like, what the hell? Why am I smelling this? Anyways, as a, let's get back to the game now. That's something to worry about later. It's... A smell that not even I can figure out where it's coming from right now. That's why I was smelling myself. I'm like, did I somehow step in it somewhere? But no. <clears throat> Anyways, this hand is typically composed of four groups of three tile combinations and one pair. The point value of a player's hand is determined by the tiles they have collected. For a list of Mahjong hands, please refer to hands. Each player takes turns drawing and discarding tiles to construct their hand to reach the win condition. In addition to drawing them, players can steal certain tiles that their opponents discard. A game of Mahjong consists of 136 tiles. There are exactly four copies of each tile resulting in 34 unique tiles. Num numbers 1 through 9 of three different suits, circles, bamboos, and characters. Four wind tiles, east, south, wind, north, sorry, west, north, bleh. Three dragon tiles, white, green, red. The wind and dragon... Tiles are collectively referred to as honor tiles. Tiles 1 and 9 of each suit are referred to as terminal tiles. The three suits are fairly easy to identify. Circles, well of course, you know, circles. Bamboo, characters, and, and yes, the those that is how you write numbers one through nine basically you know that's it's all one through nine using circles bamboo or even characters note the peacock belongs to the bamboo suit because they didn't want to just put one little tiny bamboo on and they decided just to draw 
uh, a peacock instead because the fact being is there would just be one you know and, it, and, it, and it's just but anyways I don't uh, winds east south west north dragons white green red and yeah that that's an order from left to right for us otherwise you know game layout hand this region contains the tiles you are current you are using to construct your winning hand tiles you want to keep will remain here game layout discard area which I think might be to the right the region below the player name is the discard area you can get an idea of the other players hands by looking at what they discard <clears throat> the region to the right of your hand is the meld area okay sets made from stolen discards are placed here these tiles are locked and you cannot take them apart to change your hand remember your melds can be seen by everyone a note on stealing tiles a hand ha that has no exposed melds is called a concealed hand it is generally considered smarter to play smarter considered smarter play to keep your hand concealed for as long as you can so melding isn't always the right move game layout dealer the dealer starts off each game and <clears throat> the position rotates each round when you win a game as the dealer you earn more points than usual conversely if the dealer wins off your discard you put you pay more if you win a hand as the dealer or if the game ends in a draw you remain the dealer until another player wins Dora in the center area there are tiles that represent the Dora <coughs> only one is revealed at the start but more can be flipped to create point bonuses the sets you need to collect are divided into chi, pawn, and con chi, three consecutive number tiles of the same suit meaning you know like one two three pawn three of a kind of the same tile in this case it's seven 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 so if we got three of each tile of the same tile it's a pawn chi if it's going one two three you know con four of a kind of the same tile I mean we got the same four top we got the same tiles all four of the same tiles and a pair if it's two of the same mahjong can be overwhelming for new players yeah it is here are a few suggested hands to aim for when you're getting started all simples simply discard any tiles that hi frenzy yeah, the the lady was working yesterday, but then uh, something happened. But then all of a sudden, now she's not working. But yeah, I mean, right now I can't really catch anything of. Yeah, I know. You guys can't speak, can't be heard. Your voices cannot be heard by because the lady is on strike. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know, maybe she's just on strike. Either she's on strike, vacation, you name it. I'll let, I'll let you take your pick of whatever she's doing. Maybe, maybe she, you know, maybe she's doing something that's, you know, illegal. 
Yeah, I, I, I wish I could get a new headset, but I really want to save up for a freaking new computer, but I had to spend one for a new TV. It's terrible. It really is terrible. I, I know, I know everyone's, I, I don't know about if everybody, but... Uh, Yeah, I know, but that's because the uh, camera's not muted on its microphone. Meaning that whenever my mic messes up, the camera is catching it. We'll catch it instead. So. But it, it's. I mean, I would seriously mute the microphone because stuff's getting caught because the. Like, being played, and it's like, I'm not the one who's playing the music, it just happens to be playing in the background in, this, in a completely different room. So. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, anyways. <clears throat> Uh, all simple, simply discard any tiles that are not two to eight of a suit. If Kui Tan is in use, you are able to freely steal discards, making this one of the most accessible ways to th to win. Dragon Triplet or Prevailing Wind slash Seat Wind. You can win with any tile combination as long as you have at least one triplet of a dragon your seat wind or the round wind as you play through a game you will draw and discard tiles while trying to form sets of a straight and three of a kinds to meet the wind condition sometimes you can steal from other players to reach that goal quicker Aim to form four sets of three straight or triplets and one pair, but do note that there are alternate win conditions, such as seven pairs or more advanced hands, such as 13 orphans, which have higher point values. Exposed melds and melding, in other words, stealing. Immediately after an opponent discards a tile, you can claim and add it to your hand, creating a meld. Melds are divided into pawn, chi, and con. Explain it on the next page. Several scoring elements are only valid to in concealed hands and others are reduced in value when a player has one or more exposed melds, so remember steal wisely. <sighs> So much rules just to play a ma game of Mahjong. So I'm just going to say, I'm done. Look at the hands. Uh, let's see. Um, no. Mm. Ah, screw it. We'll, we'll, we'll wing it. We'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. Uh, show hide action commands, cancel how to play, okay. Discar show discards, select the tile and navigate. Yeah, okay. So far we got a pair. No, oh, we got two pairs. Um... Hmm. Pawn. Oh. 
Oh, we got another pair. Got three of a kind. Like I said, I have no clue what I'm doing, but we're going for it. Oh, chee! Ha ha! We got a punchy. Um Not good working, I gonna We need a four We need a four and a two But screw it. So we're punchy pawn. Oh. Now get a four. Run. I think we just lost. Well, we just lost. Yeah, we lost. Gee. Yeah, anyways, we're, we're just gonna quit. They didn't have all our stuff. Like I said, I don't know how to play Mahjong, apparently. Total... what? Wow. Apparently this place has 300 million yen. So if you got, if anybody knows how to play Mahjong, <laughs> that version, please let me know and help me break the bank. I would so love you if you helped me. Not not actually physically love love, but you know more like a uh you know because seriously this is like terrible on especially when right there. Ten million earn a total of ten million in Mahjong. So but there's um more than just that, though. See, we got all down here. After the uh, arcade games is all the gambling games. Where it's like, this I can do no problem, okay? 
I can do this one no problem. It's every other game, okay, that I'm going to have a problem with. Darts is not a problem for me. Blackjack's not a problem for me when it comes to games, but it's like ev It's just everything else. Look at that. Bull 10 strikes. And it, there's probably more than that, though. Want us to get. Well, okay. Now, down here, it's just songs. We gotta go and get. We gotta get 90 or higher in. in, uh. songs. Ooh! A million yen. Come on! Give us a part. Darn it. Whatever. Okay, so let's see. However, though, for subs. Oh, yeah, we we're technically working on a, uh, cards, though. Oops. Okay, so Riona C. Got it. Riona is. Oh. Just straight up north and... Okay, so apparently it's not now, though. It's probably coming up, though. Um, let's see, though. Let me scroll up to the top here. When is it, though? There's... It's not that... Not, um... Yeah, it's that. It's... M it's a mini game. Um, befriend three girls. I gotta befriend three girls. So let's see if I can find those three girls. I don't see it. Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> um. But basically, in the completion list of adventure, or no? Business? No. There. Mary, which we're working on. We we can't finish until we actually get to chapter five. So, oh, there it is. Mini games, right here. The, the yeah. No. Um. <laughs> Doesn't even say how to... Oh, starting chapter 5. Okay, so yeah, but a lot of stuff happens in chapter 5. Okay? That's that's why. Got it. There's that smell again! Where is it coming from? Jerks. I'm not gonna get untouchable, but at least a triple takedown. Oh look, we're still making mill though. 
Now we head this way to the little tiny park over here. Hi guys. There's what I'm looking for. One sec, guys. Okay, what we were doing? Oh yeah, we're doing this, right? Well, I'm gonna do uh, this. And you get that to the face. Then I grab you and swing at your body. And then I go grab your friend over Can I go grab your friend? You grab your friend. Jerks. Guys are jerks. Okay. Oh. Okay. So, let's see. Um Oh yeah. Next. Next card. The our bowling girl. So we gotta go after Emiri. I mean, there's other others, obviously. Okay. In here. They're in here. And we're not even allowed in there. Yeah, anyways. But, fine. Whatever, I guess. We'll go turn in the cards that we do got. I guess. Run! Kirio, run! The guy is just suspicious of us being, you know, looking like a thug. That's why he's stopping and searching us because we look like a suspicious person. Chica? Mm. Okay, already did Chica. Haruke! Mm. Okay. Ayaka! Mm. Marina? <laughs> Give us five mil per. Riona. Are you? <laughs> and Miho. Mm. Darn. Okay. Well, at least we showed them all the girls that we do have of their cards. Anyways. I mean, we can probably wor work on all these sub stories later, but some are like quite literally locked for not doing what we didn't do. Can you just seriously slap me, dude? You get this. What do you get for slapping me? Okay. So, let's see. Um, however... 
Uh, Everything but the dance scene is so far done for now, right? Yeah, sure. So let's, let's go continue the story. And I will get this to go to the next. Ah. Hi, guys. We're going to fight out in front of the uh, erotic video store. But hey, we, we did all what we can for Kiryu. I gotta use the bathroom. Be right back.
Okay. I had to wait in line, you know, take a number. My number was... It's only serving number two. Anyways. Looks like this is the place Tachibana Real Estate's been trying to buy up. No business signs. It seems Tachibana's boys live up to the rumors. Namase Bar. Guess they're the last holdout. What time does this place open? Who are you? We're not open yet. I'm here to ask you a few questions about Tachibana Real Estate. Do you work here? I run the place. Are you with the Jinsei family? Jinsei family? Oh, you're not? Whoa! Guys, please, I just want to talk for a few minutes. Tachiban Real Estate is trying to drive you out of the building, right? Who are you? So, what's the gin, this Jinsei family you mentioned? Tojo clan, like four tiers down. They run the protection racket here. They came by for the money each month, like clockwork. Those Tachibana guys sent them running. The Yakuza flinched against... Yeah, pathetic, right? And all the other businesses in the building have already been driven out? Yeah. Tachibana Real Estate just dropped in one day out of the nowhere and announced that they owned. Some of the other tenants bailed as soon as they heard the name Tachibana. I'm the last holdout. You got your family living here? Can't afford a separate home. The wife hasn't left the back room in weeks. Says she's too scared of the homeless guys who took the place over. They're on the Tachibana real estate bankroll too. They pay those guys and to scream and shout and piss in the halls. Even had an arson attempt. And do these Tachibana real estate guys come? Lately I've just been getting silent phone calls, hundreds of them, all through the night. Expecting someone? Uh, SM, why now? All of a sudden. Shit. There's at least five, six out there. Tachibana Real Estate is here. You mind letting them in? I want to talk to them. Relax. Whatever they try, I'll keep you safe. Uh, Alright. Oda-san. Hello, Namase-san. Have you given some thought to that relocation for me yet? We're not leaving. Well, you say that, but we're already in the legal owners of the building. Can't have you causing trouble by sticking around for your own selfish reasons. Selfish? You've been harassing me non-stop for days. You've got an infant in here. Don't believe I've seen you before. You know, Namase-san, turning a, to Yakuza Braun like him will only make it worse. Sorry to disappoint. 
But I'm not Yakuza. Just think of me as this guy's bodyguard. Bodyguard? To protect him from whom? From a bunch of Yakuza in civilian's clothing called Tachibana Real Estate. Right. Well, it doesn't matter much what an outsider like you has to say. Back to the point. I came bearing gifts today. Something from the boss over at the Jinsei family. The hell is that? The protection money you've paid him to date. Three years worth at 30 grand a month, rounded up to 2 million. I took the liberty of getting it back for you. You shook down the Yakuza? What? You personally? Two million? Plus another two million as a gift for, from our president. And hey, here's two million more. Milk money for the baby. What do you say, Namase-san? Let's call this a deal. Can we expect your departure in the next few days? This, it isn't about the money. It's th that attitude. You think you can roll in with your one-sided demands and... Jeez. Let's drop the false pretenses, Namase-san. <clears throat> so all the tantrums you like, this is all you're getting. That's six million. Uh, let's let's do uh, a conversion here. Six million yen. Okay. That's thousand. There. That in that. Ki I mean, that amount of money. Back in the. I mean, it's not really the eighties now, but to date though. To date though, like if that was. If something like that was given nowadays, you know, I, I would so take that because here in the United States, that is almost forty thousand dollars, almost. Not exactly. It's actually thirty-nine thousand five hundred twenty dollars and forty-eight cents. That's still quite a lot of money to just about buy, just about buy a house, a, a cheap house. It, I mean, around here in my city, it's like like ten thousand for a real cheap, beat-down home. Okay, it's like ten thousand for a cheap beat down home, but it's gonna be like, like that you know that that almost forty thousand dollars. That's actually enough to buy a decent home. So you know, I mean, sure the guy is, doesn't want to take the deal because he's living here. He, he's living. He's been here his whole life. But I mean, th there's people out there who can't really uh, stand moving out. There's people out there who can't really stand moving out. Because they were born here, they were raised there, you know. It's born and raised. Some people either can't move out because they, they actually like the place. Or they actually do want to move out because who they were living with. Wasting our time with this pathetic act. If it isn't the money, then what the f is it, huh? Something to say? You don't hear that crying. Throwing cash in, in a father's face in front of his kid? Is that how Tachibana does business? You don't exactly look like the kind of guy who's in a position to give an ethics lecture. But very well. I can see how our show of sincerity has Namase-san. That's not for you to decide. He's going to pick up the money and just... I expect a call from you this evening. I look forward to your cooperation. It's 
Six million yen being left on the fort. This city, this day and age, that fetish for playing the hero will get you killed, buddy. Keep that little hobby of yours in check. Who said Kiryu was a, was a hero? And now Kiryu gets to see the ugly side. After he turned it down. So what, what, you're going to close shop and leave? <laughs> of course, all the guys who packed up and left the minute they were told are idiots. A little patience and, and just look at the returns. He held out for, for more. And now that he's got more. Oh. I did not even... Lady is bad. Hey, where'd all your buddies go? On to the next job. They told us this one's all done. The next job? Where's that? Who knows? There's a lot round. Tachibana-san got his fingers and all sorts of things. Just what kind of alpha is Tachibana real estate? I don't know. Why are you asking? But you should have messed with them guys. They're very sh they're the very shadows of this town. Shadows? The way I see it, they're way scarier than any Yakuza. They have eyes and ears on every corner here. Whoever they, you are, Yakuza doesn't matter. They know your secrets. Have you by the balls before you think? And that's how they chased off the Jensei family. Last I heard, Tojo headquarters made the Jensei boss hack off a finger. What? Came to light, he'd been skimming off the top of his pavements up the ladder. Of course, they only ratted him out for a tiny bit of it. If the Tojo clan got the full scope of it, he'd be dead. I see. And now Tachibana's got him on, on a leash. Hey, I never said one word about it being Tachibana-san who did it. Not that there's anybody else in this town who could dig up that kind of dirt on the Yakuza. All I can tell you is beyond that is this. For your own sake, steer clear of Tachibana. A real estate company willing to make an enemy of the Tojo clan? The owner of a <coughs> of Cafe Blend may have been right about them being worse than the Yakuza. I still want a bit more info. Hope they can track down those other homeless guys. Ah, so that's when you came in. Was okay. In this neighborhood, I usually see them hanging around Park Boulevard. Maybe I'll start there. Find the homeless men. They're just around the corner, really. Oh, 
Here you go. We helped him up just to knock him down. Well, you better believe it. Yo, you got a word on any good jobs? If I did, I'd be doing them myself. Speaking of, I hear Sakusan just got back from that gig for Tachibana Real Estate. You serious? Lucky bastard. You think he'd cut me in on some of that if I asked him? Who knows? Can't hurt to ask, I guess. He's probably over at Public Park 3 with his buddies. A homeless guy who worked for, with Tachibana Real Estate might have some info. I'll head to Public Park 3 and check it out. Oh man. Go around. Yes. Just throw them around like a bunch of rag dolls. We're finally continuing in that chapter. The stop and search. Um. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is part of his story about why he became a stop and search police officer. I, uh, um, what? Is it a touchy subject? Actually, I'm ashamed to admit it, <clears throat> but stop and searches are the only thing I'm good for. I can't do anything else. Huh? What's the me- what's that mean? When I joined the force, they partnered me with a senior officer. He was great at what he did. Oh, okay, it's the- yeah, it's the... Uh, okay. He was great at what he did. And really popular with the other officers. He had my back right from the beginning. Pretty much the ideal cop. Just like the ones you see on TV. I was in awe. Then one day, we stepped in to break up a fight between some drunks. When I pulled them apart, one of them attacked me from behind. My partner moved to protect me, but he got stabbed instead. It must have hit an artery, blood was gushing out, and he didn't make it. He had my back until the end, too. <sighs> Ever since, I've been scared to death of real police work. No matter the task, I just end up a nervous wreck. Now the others in the department just see me as dead weight. I try to stay out of their way when I can, so I spend my days out here doing stop and searches. 
questioning people and searching their belongings is the only thing I have. That's all I can do. Heh. <laughs> Sorry to ramble on like this. Thank you for your help. Mm. He's clearly down in the dumps. I guess I can... I opened up an old wound. Mm, looks like one or two more stops and with that guy and we'll be golden. Hey, hooligans. Time to... Have some fun. Smackdown! You want some too? Ouch. You want some then. Because you did it. Boom! Would have did it to him, but... The first, that, the previous guy interrupted me, so I did it to him, and then, you know, and he managed to get a hit in before I could even smack him. All I had to do was just smack him once, and I would have been able to do it on him, but no. He wanted to hit me. Archibana Real Estate at Public Park 3. Here's where we gotta buy some booze for the guys. Yeah. Got a lot of Tachibana Real Estate. I wasn't expecting a sweet little year end bonus. This calls for a toast, fellas. Yeah. We deserve to forget all the bad crap for one day. I didn't even get to... Looks like these are the homeless guys Tachibana employed. Nah, really? I was hoping you guys could answer a few questions. Is this a good time? Huh? Yeah, I don't mind. Actually, wait. Sorry, it's too cold. My tongue's frozen stiff. What? Hmm, if only I had some booze, that draw the, draw it right, thought out, eh, thought right out. If you're that eager to chat, buy us a round. Only fair, right? Oh, uh, great plan, yeah. Your tongue seems to be working just fine to me. Nope. It's numb. Can't talk. Fine. <clears throat> You'll talk if I bring drinks. Well, first, just answer me this. Who out of you has actually done work for Tachibana Real Estate? All five. <laughs> I see. Then at least it looks like I'll get my money's worth. Oh, and not just any booze will do. We'll get to we we get to choose our order, okay? Tongues are tricky like that. If you don't give them exactly what they want, they're just no good. It's probably quickest to just give them what they want. I'll take their orders and bring what they tell me to. <sighs> what do you want? Me, I'll stick with beer. Heh. <laughs> After all that talk, I was expecting... F I was expecting fancier. Yeah, well, there's just no beating a beer at the end of a job. What job? Whoa, you almost got me there. Nope. First the beer, and I get... <clears throat> and I got a bottle opener on me, so I don't care if it's... A can or a bottle, whichever works. Okay, beer's easy. They sell that pretty much everywhere. Yeah, but it's coming out of the store with it. For me, hmm, I'm kind of a sweet potato sochu mood. It has to be a potato sochu. What are you, crazy? Sweet potato sochu is the only sochu worth drinking. You're one of those kids who only drinks beer. 
gotta expand your horizons. You'll never get a woman. When I was young, when I was a young stud, I'd take gals out, get them wasted, and... Yeah. I don't he need to hear any more. If I check a few different convenience stores, someone's bound to have sweet potato so chew. Yee, <laughs> didn't expect a free drink tonight. Well, it's just great, I tell ya. Oh, and I'm a whiskey hound. Thanks. Whiskey? Got it. Oh, and I'm real particular about my whiskey. Make sure it's a scotch. Would ya? Hmm, scotch. If I hit a few convenience stores, somebody should have some. I cannot walk. There we go. There's nothing like sake to warm you up in winter. Whoa, well, whoa. Well, you don't expect me to bring you hot sake, do you? Because that's more than I can promise. Oh, that'd be amazing. Yeah, hi, Frumsy. If only the lady was working, I really do wish. But she does not. Oh, that'd be am um, amazing, but I'm not that greedy. Room temperature works. Sake, huh? They sell that in... Con they sell all the kind of beer that, that we're after. Well, actually, all different kinds of alcohol, I should say, in the convenience store. Why do you think they're called a convenience store? Champagne. Champagne. Awfully fancy choice. Christmas. Ah, uh, yeah. I guess it is that time of year. Champagne. Yeah. We, we all have those days where we just feel tired. Yeah. So. There we go. Champagne at Don Quixote. So five bottles of alcohol all around. Walk into this one. We get like. Sweet potato sochu. There's our miso cutlet lunch set. Buy one, eat it. See what else we got here. That's about it. So sweet potato sochu we found. Oh yeah, definitely. I mean <clears throat> I mean especially when with when you, whenever you have that gym class to go to, my god. That just makes the day even longer. But yeah, un for unfortunately, everyone has to go to school. The other unfortunate thing, schools don't really teach you what actually happens in, with, you know, with real life stuff. They just teach you the subjects over and over and over for 18 years of your life. Uh, not really 18 years or whatever. It's more like a X amount of years of your life.
I know it's it's terrible with schools repeating. It's like once you're in, once you're in high school, it's like real more terrible on you. I mean, elementary, it's fun and all, but then when you get to middle school, and you're like, it's getting less fun at school. And, and then all of a sudden, high school, you're bored, and it's like, I've been learning the same stuff. So. But once, once, if your decision is to go to college, then it's like, I'm going to school to learn a specific skill. Ah, so basically in my country that would be like uh, middle school ish, middle school ish. Uh, yeah, so yeah, that would be like middle school last last year of la last year of here. But every country is different. Uh, let's see. So we'll check out the drug... I don't think the drugstore will sell anything. But we gotta go to Don Quixote. We been to that one. And went to that one. So now we gotta go down. See you tomorrow. But yeah, I do understand about you know, like I said though, studying and going through school. They they try to make it f more fun in school, but I mean they try. Scotch whiskey. Oh yeah, malts is just straight up beer. So, uh, one, two, three, four, and now we just gotta go get the champagne. But yeah, we we all just love going through school. Elementary, it's fun as hell. You get the Play games with your friends. Learn how to l learn to draw, write, spell. Then all of a sudden, all of a sudden, middle school. Okay, I'm learning the same thing, but sure, it's more fun. It's still fun-ish. Then you get to high school. Yep. I'm getting bored. I learned the same stuff. That's how it was for me, so... Like I said, terrible. Growing, growing up in the 90s, going through school, technology changing on you as you're going... as each year goes by of school. Trust me, it, it was terrible, okay? Going through school was terrible for me. It was. I wish I could use a phone on. I wish I could have used a phone or a calculator for tests. But no! Wasn't allowed. I, I wish I could have used a freaking tablet for my homework. No! Couldn't do jack! I. 
I, I'm, I'm the kind of person who doesn't like to put pen to paper. Why? Because it's a waste of paper. That's how I went to school. We were killing trees. That was. I mean, I don't really feel bad for tr for the trees or anything like that. It's, it's just a point, you know. I was like, we have we have phone we have phones and and cell phones are becoming a thing. Anyways, I lost train of thought because, but anyways, <clears throat> um, but yeah, me going through school was just terrible, um, couldn't really use a phone, tablet, whatever, you name it, I, for anything. Now let's, now then. Hi, Sam FT53. Anyways, wait. Yeah, the, the lady's still not working. Yes. You can sit there and think of whatever, whatever you want to think what the lady's doing of why she's not speaking. You can go ahead and admit to whatever you think she's doing of why she's not. Maybe, maybe she's doing something illegal. I don't freaking know. I don't really care. My the thing is, I appreciate her talking. It's what I don't appreciate is her repeating. So, I guess they're sort of trying to fix that, but I don't really know. But, yeah. Basically, you know, so, uh, before you, though, uh, someone was sitting there mentioning about how, about ugging through school today, so, being, making, you know, being a long day of school and, my, my, my time through school was just terrible, so, it, it was really terrible, so, can't plagiarize, can't use calculator, can't use anything to help you with your homework or even test, well, I mean, homework, yes, but tests, nope, got nothing, can't do anything to help you with tests when I was going through school. Even though we had cell phone, you know, even though there were cell phones, thing of cell phones, tel uh, calculators, you know, couldn't use them. Well, yeah, I mean, everyone's time sucks going through school if they're, um, anyone or Basically, if, let's say if you're like 25 to 30, or tw about 25 or older right now, then you're going, your time going through school was probably a little crap. So, but trust me, if you're much younger than that, you're having it easy, buddy. Trust me, much easier than what I went through. A hell of a lot easier. Anyone older than 25 as of this year of 2024, 25 or older, they did not exactly have an exactly a good time going through school due to the fact being couldn't really 
I, I wish I could hear hear the joke, but you know, lady not speaking. But I mean, I I can still I can read. But anyways, um, we need to buy yeah table salt. Champagne. The guy asked for champagne, not gold champagne, just uh, champagne. So there's one, two, three, four, and five. But yeah, if you want, if hmm. But, I mean, you can go ahead and say your joke if you haven't, uh, unless you're typing it, I don't really, oh. Uh, the difference between snowmen and snow... Okay! Okay! Um, I mean, I can say that joke! What is the difference between snowmen and snowwoman? Snowballs. Because, you know, snowballs... I-I know, it's a bit of a terrible joke, but... It, it's at least something that is actually... Something safe to say... That's not actually... Of a more adult joke. I mean, I, I do see the ha-ha in it, but it's, you know... I mean, it's not really that bad, but it's... I mean, trust me, my jokes are worse, okay? Like, I try to put logic into my jokes. Because that's all I can say of jokes, because if I... If I try to say some other joke, oh, it's racist, or, oh, it's sexist, or, oh, it's, you know... It's terrible! Really, utterly terrible! Can't really... You gotta be careful with what jokes you're saying! But in this day and age, you gotta be careful with your freaking jokes. It's terrible. Can't even say a dumb blonde joke either. Mm hmm. It's annoying. But, yeah. I mean, basically, I know somebody. Not, I don't know him personally, so I'm, like, in the safe of what happened here. But, basically, this person did it as, like, a joke deal, but they didn't, like, make it quite literally... They didn't really do it as a joke to start off with because the timing of when this person did it was they did it as a Halloween thing okay so therefore not really a joke kind of deal you know and basically there was like a bombing and they decided to dress up as one and uh, you know, as a person who was there, and, yeah, they had to move and change their name. Yeah. It was so 
bad that that person was like attacked heavily and so heavy in fact my cousin got attacked for being her friend and it it was like oh my god it, it, it was terrible I mean, she, like I said, the person who, they didn't really mean it as a joke, like, ha 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 ha, very fun. No. They were doing it more like, as a Halloween thing. Like, that that's what they are going to be, that's what they did for a Halloween costume. You know, like, they're showing off that this is what they're going to be dressing up like for Halloween. Well, they shared it, and then they ended up getting attacked by other people, and... They were, and you know, like, my cousin's house, my cousin's house got like, egged and TP'd when her friend shared that deal, so, yeah, terrible. But, yep, that's why I said there's people out there who are very sensitive and get butthurt over any little freaking detail, and it's like, seriously, it's a... Can't you just take it lighthearted as a joke or something? No need to be a uh, being uppity up and be all. I'll be like here. M one sec, let me. Uh, let's see. Mm, let me find one here. Okay. Like, for instance, here here's a joke between a blonde and a brunette, and uh, like I said, this is a dumb blonde joke, and I don't want some blonde actually getting all butthurt over. This is a joke, people. It's a joke, okay? And the joke goes like this: What does the blonde st goes and says, "What does IDK stand for?" The brunette goes and says, "I don't know." Then the blonde replies back saying, "OMG, nobody does." Okay. Now then, by saying a, like I said, it's a joke, and now I'm going to probably have some blonde or maybe a brunette who's going to be sitting there being all butt hurt over it because it, it's like I take offense to that. You took offense to a joke. That was just a joke. Does it really mean that the that you were actually? No! So, let it off. It was a joke. I mean, I'm a blonde too, okay? I was born blonde, at least. My, I know my hair is not, like, quite literally the golden yellow blonde, but that's because I haven't spent my days outside, okay? I don't spend days outside anymore. I, ne I never exactly liked the outdoors. I will go outside to exercise or whatever, but I'm not really an outdoors person. That's why my hair is not an actual blonde color. 
because I never been outside. So my hair became dark. But yeah, I mean, seriously, I'm a white guy with long hair and likes to play games and really doesn't mind his fingernails being a, being longer than normal. And if anybody was to sit there and tell me, oh, you know, you're you're a guy, you're a white man with a Long fingernails. I'm gonna insult. I don't care. That's a your problem, not a me problem. So why are you getting butthurt over something that I'm doing? I'm doing my own business. Why aren't you minding your own? You know. So seriously, people, mind your own business. Don't get butthurt over something. Okay? Because nobody cares. Okay? No ba D cares. Okay? Just go with that. If you don't if if they don't care, then you shouldn't care. Okay? Do you think that they meant to tell the joke so that you could overhear it? No. So just lay off. Take a chill pill. Okay? Don't go freaking egging somebody's house and tor or and threatening to burn the house down or something. Just because something was said and done. Was it on purpose? Was it supposed to be mean? I don't think so. Then why are you caring? But anyways, uh, I'm rambling. I'm, I should get to this. Anyways, we're about to. We just gave the guys their drinks. Yep. Maybe for a homeless person. Tongue limbering up now? You bet. My whole mouth's nice and warmed up. That and he's too drunk to even remember what he's talked about. I'm fine, I'm fine. Not that there's really all that much I can tell you, buddy. Let's start with the work you've done for Tachibana's firm. Sure. Just go wherever they tell you and camp out for the day. Wake up and... Make, wake up, bleh. We just finished our shifts at one spot today and got paid. Tomorrow's is on the... You were at the Hakua building until a little while ago, right? I was there myself. Mm. Uh, I, I gotta re- I, I, I can't- there, it's, they go, uh, come to see us, same as you did. Sometimes Yakuza from the Tojo clan hire us to do the same thing. They're in the business of ch chasing people out too. And we don't really care if it's for the Yakuza or the Tachibana son. Anybody wants to pay us, we're, we're there. Fair enough. One last question. You know where the Tachibana real estate guys hang out? Yeah, that'd be the champion district. I see him going in and out of there all the time. That area is a gold mine for land speculators. It's nothing but tiny bars. If you could chase them all out and bundle those. <sighs> All right. So you think their next target's the Champion District? Pretty sure. 
though they're not the only ones. The Tojo clan's been going after those properties too. If a Yakuza type like you waltzes in there, all the locals are going to cl clam up though. I see. Thanks for the advice. I appreciate it. The Champion District. That may be my ticket to bumping into Tachibana's boys again. Wish my town would have riots. Trust me, I, I really... Sometimes you wish your town had riots. But they don't happen around here. It, the only time a riot happens in this, in a town like this, is when power goes out the entire town. Hey. <laughs> the Irish love rioting. I wonder why. <laughs> Anyways. <sighs> yeah, too, too bad Frenzy is already uh, off to bed. Or else they would love to hear, they would have loved this one. Since you said the Irish love rioting, then I'm pretty sure the Vikings would too. You know, they, they would like to join in. Anyways, talk to Bacchus. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sorry to hold you up. Yeah, you wanted to talk? That's right, tell me, have you been training? Yeah, here and there. Good, because I have something I'd like to... If you're willing. <sighs> Truth is, I've got depth collectors on my tail. Scary mm. ones. Yeah. I gathered. You've been running since we met. No, no, no. Those two-bit jokers are nickel and dime stuff. I'm talking tunas. Famous, and I mean that in the global sense. And now they're here in Japan. Hot on my tail. Mmm. Ah, abandoned golf course. I don't know why you were in abandoned golf course, but okay. Uh, yeah, he wants. He's gonna have us trained by fighting off his debt collectors. Mm. Yeah, well, yeah, you you can do, you can probably say that you're bored, but um, uh, I mean, there, there's like a lot of reasons why people would go to abandoned places. Trust me, me and my friend, we we went to a, a kids park at night, and and there was like people who are probably like my age or like. Um, like, like, they're probably 21 at least. And me and my friend, we were probably like 15. So, yeah. Wasn't really a, I mean, I've been to places and whether it's abandoned or not, it's not, not it's not really all that scary really. It's just more like, there's a reason why it's abandoned. Either because it's unstable. You know, like unstable of a building, or maybe because of um, uh, people you know didn't have enough money to to uh, uh to 
to pay for the upkeep, you know, to maintain the place, so. I mean, that basically, there's, like, abandoned places all over my town, but it's, like, they don't, they don't really stick out like a sore thumb anymore, so. It's technically hard to find something that of an abandoned place. I mean, the only time you find an abandoned place around here is by looking at something that has, like, boarded up windows and... Or, you know, the windows are maybe broken open or something. It's actually kind of hard to find them. Because they don't stick out like a sore thumb nowadays here in this town. So... Yeah, anyways. Uh, yeah, blah, 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 blah. He just wants us to be bodyguard to him. And I gotta fill this up. And I have a water over there that's almost empty. Uh, scary depth collector. Daddy. Uh, come on, just skip. We already got the objective now. Guys come in while we're here. Every, every guy that comes here is a came to collect from Bacchus and Bacchus is wanting us to protect him and that's what we're doing. We're just protecting Bacchus. Yes, I remember when when we play Far Cry 5. Ouch! Jerk. You get this now. No life for you! There is a bit of a way to cheat Far Cry 5 though. Basically, um, what I'm getting at is that you join someone's game and you run around collecting all the perk magazines that are like found in the bunkers and whatnot. And what you can do is once you cleared out that friend's map of all the perks and, and whatnot, or going into doing all that, Go into another friend's ge Far Cry 5 game, clean out all that, and get more perk magazines, and you'd be already perked up before you even go on to another person's. So, yeah, it's a, it's a bit of a cheat, but you can get a lot of perk magazines just by helping them go into each bunker. Each person go into a bunker, and it's like... Because... I went into my game and he like he came into my game and he helped me get all the pro we went all my opened them up you know we did all those stashes and whatnot, like, just give perk magazines picked all them up then he he goes into his game and he's now re having a repeat everything we just did and it's like holy crap he's now getting twice He, he's getting like twice the amount of perk magazines. So, yeah, basically you got your own, then you got a friend's, and then you got, you know, so it's like, so yeah, it's actually, I mean, it practically is considered cheating without actually, I mean, it's not, it's, it's in the game, you know? I mean, it's right there in the game. So, you know, so is it actually cheating? No. Any, you can consider it cheating, but it's not cheating unless it's not, if it wasn't meant to be in the game. They're the ones who didn't think of that, you know? There's a, there's a bunch of games out there with quite literally legit ways of cheating without cheating. You just have to look at the game from a different perspective or a different angle. In this case, Far Cry 5, it was just jumping into your map with a friend. Your friend gets all all their per all the perk magazines with you. And it's like, then you guys go to 
go to his, do the same, boom, you both got twice the amount that a normal person would get in one game. You just keep jumping around and it's like, you you can max yourself out before you even fight any of the freaking uh, seeds. You you'd be o you'd be OP before you even fighting any any of them or starting it off. As long as you went around to all the where the perk magazines are. Um, but I'm pretty sure there's other games. I just can't think of any right off the top of my head right now. But like I said, they're out there. They are out there. Oh, I got a couple games on sale on Steam. And they're on my wish list. Let's see. Let's take a look at them. I, I, I see one, but it says one other. So, what is the one other? That is not one other! That is one, two, three... Four... Five, six, seven. That's seven. That's not this game and one other. But yep, I'm I'm also on Steam, so. No, I don't think so. I mean, I, I got Half-Life. I, I actually love the Half-Life series. But I don't want to get into playing Half-Life Alex. No, I, that's where I draw the line. VR is not my... Not my, uh... Stuff. I mean, I see Half-Life is like 10 bucks, but, I mean, I, uh, but, yeah, Half-Life 1 is good, I didn't, I couldn't exactly beat it because I got lost, so, I had Half-Life a long time ago, and, like, I got lost, like, uh, let me see here. I, I got a walkthrough on it, but let me see how far, I, I, I sort of remember how far in I got. Um, let's see. Yeah, I was, like, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I, I was about six levels away, six, if you want to call it six levels away, because, you know, each level is named differently every time you get to a certain point. So, I was like six or seven levels away from the end. And I, I was lost. Because I was like out in the desert. Like, I was outside. And it was like open. And I got lost. So, because I, I, I took a break from the game. Came back. And I, I was lost. So I, so, I just up and left the game sitting there for a while. And then all of a sudden, uh, computer broke down, lost the game. So now I decided to get it on Steam now and replay the game. And probably repeat the same thing I'm doing now. Oh, Fallout New Vegas is on sale. Holy effing crap. I am so going to pay for that. Three bucks, basically. 75% off. Oh, better yet. I'm, I'm I'm getting the the ultimate New Vegas. That, that's like everything for five bucks. I played New Vegas, so <laughs> a lemon grenade. <clears throat> but yeah, um. 
But yeah, me and my brother, we we played fall. We 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 played Fallout New Vegas. We liked it, so. I mean, if you want to know how much my brother liked Fallout New Vegas, he's right now running around in Fallout 4 pretending to be Mr. House. Okay? He is right now playing Fallout 4, running around pretending to be Mr. House. I hope you can understand what he's doing at every settlement. Uh, Fallout 4, I don't know. I'd have to check. I mean, I, I, I just paid for Fallout New Vegas, so give me a sec. But, yeah, New, Ve New Vegas? Basically, Fallout New Vegas is like the only Fallout game where you're not from a vault. You're not from a vault. So, let's see here. Oh wow, Fallout 76 is on sale. 80 80% off. But I'm not going I I'm not going to get Fallout 76 for the computer now. It's going to be for here, okay? I I can't I can't play an online game on a computer. That's a first person shooter. I I can't play to save my life. Um Especially with an online game. I, I can't. So. I know. It's weird. But anyways. um, I'll just type in Fallout. Um, it says Fallout 4 is uh, $5. But. I don't know if there's any uh, special. Yeah. Fallout, Fallout 4 is on sale. 75% off. So. Um, Fallout New Vegas? Yeah, there's vaults in it. You can visit them. There's always a vault in, in any Fallout game. Oi. Anyways. Oh, yeah, I should... Um, but yeah, it looks like all the fa Fallout games are on sale. But if you want to buy every Fallout game, it's going to cost you $50. I mean, that's actually a rather good deal, buying every Fallout game from Fallout, uh, I think they got three listed here, I think, I don't know. Oh, yeah, they got three, New Vegas, four, Fallout 4 VR, and Fallout 76, along with the season pass for Fallout 4, which gives you every DLC. So, basically, yes, everything of Fallout is, uh, uh from, f basically, everything of Fallout not one and two. Uh, that's a th th that's a completely different company. Fallout three, four, New Vegas. The new company, that that's that's uh, all on sale. So, <clears throat> and yeah, I find that as a rather good deal. If I, buying if if you like Fallout that much, fifty dollars. That's actually a good price. I mean the original the original price. That's two hundred and fourteen dollars. At least in at least in my country, but two hundred fourteen dollars and ninety four cents. But I'm pretty sure if you run a use a calculator to convert the money, but whatever. But anyways, I got to now. Um, uh, okay, I'm gonna say yeah. The, And view. And there. Um, meh. Whatever. Continue. I agree. Purchase. There we go. And whoopee, I just made 529 uh, Steam points. Anybody want my 66,782 uh, Steam points? 
I wish I could share them. I would definitely give them off if I could share them. No, Fallout 1 and 2, you don't just build your own vault. You don't. Fallout 1 is where you... Um, you're having to save your vault that you're in from uh, destroying. Like, you're in Fallout One. Your vault, you're you're leaving the vault because it's like running out of resources. Okay, and so you're being sent out. To go look for a resource to bring back to fix it. And you go out and fix it alright. You come back and they're like, hey, F you. So, yeah. Fallout 1 and 2 are a bit of a timed game. They're a bit. Meaning, you got one of two things going to happen. Either you fix the problem, like you go out you and you come back and fix the problem, but they, they'll still say F you to about it, but it's more like the outcome of what happens. So, you just end up, you just end up getting kicked out of the vault, even though you fixed it. So either you fix it, or you say F you to them before they even say F you out the door you go after fixing it. That's basically what Fallout 1 and 2 are. Is basically, you, you, they, they send you out to go fix their problem. So you go out and you fix their problem. If you fix it in time, you come back and they say, Hey, thanks for the problem. Now get the F out of here. We don't need, we don't need you anymore. You, you got too much radiation. You, or blah, 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 blah. You know, you're, even though you could have no radiation or never suffered any radiation, they'll still kick you out because for some reason. So yeah, that's all what Fallout 1 and 2 are. It's basically, you're being sent out to fix their vault. Yeah, Vault-Tex has been in, has been in it's ever since. Anyways. Yeah, and the guy's just saying, that this is only the beginning. There'll be more. And they'll be stronger too. But yeah, basically, Fallout 1 and 2 were actually made by a completely different. Before Fallout 3, the Fallout games previous to Fallout 3 were made by a completely other company. Okay? But then. Time got dropped off, and then the people who made Fallout 3 were like, you know, that have now made Fallout 3, and is now, you know, Fallout 3, 4, New Vegas, even Fallout VR, and Fallout 76. Those people, yeah. They just, uh, basically, they came along and like, hey, they're, they're basically like, yeah, this was a fun game. Why did it just stop right here? And so, you know... I think it was uh, Interplay back then. I think. I think it was Interplay? I wonder if I can... Um, let me see here. Just go to my library. Uh, let's see. And then just say store page. Um, yeah, Interplay. It, it, it was Interplay, okay? And yeah, I know the publisher says Bethesda, but they it, it was just Interplay. It was like Interplay in some other company, really, or something like that. Like, Bethesda was not a thing. Uh, let's see, Fallout 2 was, yeah, Fallout 2 was a completely another company called Black Isle Studios. Then another com then then there's Fallout Tactics, 
And that was yet again another completely another company called 14 Degrees East. So yes, three different companies. I mean, I, I know uh, might have been a, might be a rename, but still the point being is three different named companies though made the original Fallout games. Okay, but. But then you got like like I said, yeah, Obsidian Entertainment and Bethesda. They came in like like Bethesda would have basically Bethesda would have died or Bethesda Bethesda whatever I don't really care how you pronounce it. But yeah, they 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 would have probably yeah Be because they 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 were done. They didn't. They were like. We're done. We're going bankrupt. You know, we're we're done. We're going bankrupt. We're we're shutting down, and and you know, so yeah. Um, let's see. Yeah, I typed in interplay, and I got now interplay learning. <laughs> um, but. Yeah. Um. But yeah, they were formerly Interplay Productions. Okay. So yeah, Interplay Entertainment is now or was Interplay Productions. So which is the people who made the Fallout games. And yeah. But, but yeah, I mean, there are... Yes, I do have Discord, but I do not use it because I do not remember my username and password right now. Because I, you know, I just have to... I mean, I know my username, it's obvious, but it's the password, so... And if I, if I was to get Discord now, then I would have to, like... Uh put it on the drive that I'm going to be using when I get my new computer and it's it'll just be a pain okay if I if I if, I, if I'm like getting anything I gotta re-download later on I mean I've lost quite a few things that I gotta refine somehow so yeah 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 those boxes training sure but yeah now we can just talk to Bacchus now and get some training from him and I'll see you later, Sam FT53. Oh, and I gotta pee again. Be right back. Oh yeah, I'm also gonna speak to my brother, see if he saw what I got him.
Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we'll talk to Bacchus, get some more training in. Hey, bye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His is easy to learn. His, his doing his is easy. Doing uh, the girl at the pier, Tatsu, her training's easy. It's Kamoji whose training is just terrible. What's the key to brawling? Yes. Blah 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 blah. blah. Yeah. And now we got to put it into use. Hey. He taught us to move, and now we got to just do it. But of course, it's yet again another deck collector who's come to collect. Powerful, resolute counter. You can charge up a counterattack. The attack is more powerful and likely to knock the opponent down. Start. All we do, we just take a hit and, and pr press after we take a hit. That's all it is. There we go. Down for the count, for dead. Thank you out. Darn it. Ow. Hold on. Uh, 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 let's do. Come on. About to defeat him. I'm just got away from. There we go. And bam. Okay. My water bottle here. Using a bigger water bottle to fill up a smaller water bottle. Eh. How'd you get the better of me? Because we're curious. you. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We win, and this guy goes running off going, Mommy! I've been hit by a big, tall, fogly man! He, he, he was a big, gritty Yakuza member! Uh-huh. Yeah, does, does Kiryu look like a big, tough, ugly Yakuza member? Yeah, I don't think so. But that's basically what everybody's doing here. And, and, and of course, they never come back and because they're getting their butt beat for not, not winning, not, you know, coming to collect the debt. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Hey, bye. Yep, learn another move. How to break down defense. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. We're just gonna. Yeah. No, so basically, now, whenever we take a hit, we can just go pop back. Basically, we can, we can charge up our uh, our attacks every time we get hit. Mm-hmm. Now we gotta learn the new move we just learned. Which is... Slip past a guardian enemy's arms, grab their face, twist them to the ground, then stomp them to finish the job. So whenever they have their guard up, we just hit triangle and do this. Yeah, we're gonna have like infinite heat this whole time. So whenever they got their guard up like so, we can just instantly do a heat move and just do this. Every time. 
And yes, you would assume that this guy would be dead if it happened to him three times, like so. right here. Aww. And down he goes. Nope. Fine. And down he goes. There we go. So there, now we learned a heat move in order to get past his defenses. And yet again, he goes running away, crying, yi 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 Hey, bye! How can I take down blade-wielding enemies? Basically, anybody who comes at us with a weapon. Yeah. Especially if it's a, a knife. And yet again, another guy comes going. Hey, I'm here to collect. I'm a much stronger man. Much stronger manly man. And yet again, it's a heat move, so we get to have infinite heat, and he gets to keep holding the same knife. This has really gotta hurt. I mean, we're practically popping this guy's arm out of it. You know, look at that. Boom! You know? He shouldn't even have an arm after receiving that three times. And now he's about to get it another time. Ah, crap. And it's right as he attacks, too. Ah. Oh, no, you don't. You're not getting back up after that. I said stay down, and I mean it. Now get back up so I can do it again. And I mean stay down. Now get back up. Get back up. I said stay down, and I mean it. Now get back up so I can beat you back down again. Yeah, we just trolled him. If you want to call it that we, we just like <laughs> messed up your arm you're finally you're, you're actually worried about us messing up your arm even though we practically kunk it you know with our leg on the elbow three times well actually four times that as you come jabbing at us with a knife we we invert your elbow four times 
I'm surprised you still have an arm. Oi. Anyways, now go cry aye aye back to your plate, wherever you came from, and forget about this debt. Just like everyone else. Huh. And I'm finally seeing something of a tape. It wraps all the way around. I don't even know where. It, oh, it just. Hey, let's see. Hey, Bacchus, got any more? Hey, bye. Yes, I'm ready to learn more oh, moves. Bye. Sorry, boy, there's nothing I can teach you yet. <sighs> we gotta upgrade our abilities some more to learn more. <laughs> In other words, we gotta come into our abilities here, like so. Go into Brawler. And we gotta get all the way up to this one. In other words, boom, boom. So we need two. Hundred million yen. Huh. How about that? Oh. So that's thirty. That's thirty million. I I'm my my mind wasn't working. But um so yeah, we need two hundred million and we only have thirty two million. So it's enough to get another move here. Uh let's see, quick step blow, that just means that we can do a dodge and then hit uh heat you know our heavy attack or we can learn um, basically boost the damage of our counter attacks hmm yeah we're gonna check rush uh, increase the power of your regular attacks and heat actions Yeah, that's so well learned. And the next one is your heat gauge will slowly rise over time when you are wounded. So, yes. That is always good to get Phoenix Spirit. That means whenever we are in rush, if we want to build up our heat, we just get gravely wounded. So when our health bar starts flashing up there after so much damage is taken, we our heat would raise all the way up to the second bar. So there. So Bacchus can't teach us Jack right now. Until we actually are able to learn something. <laughs> rawr, rawr. Uh, he wants to fight. He down for the count. He down for the count. And he's down for the count. But my beast mode is actually pretty good to be in because you can actually all three guys and all the guys in one hit and earn a million per. Well, we picked up the bike on, on the second swing. And I'm like, sure. Whatever, we'll just let it go. Run, Kiryu! We're going to, s to a taxi to the pier. We're gonna go speak to Miss Tatsu. Eh, hold on, let me take a look here. Actually, because she's gonna be like Bacchus. So if she won't teach us that. She won't teach us that. She'll teach us that. And that. So the first two moves she'll teach us. 
So, sure. Now I know we didn't get our million because we got hit. But hey, we took out all three guys. The pier, please. Now then. Ah, cure you. So you should. After. Uh. Yeah, I got curious about the train you mentioned. Glad you remembered. Can't trust a word that old drunk says, really. Hey, I'm not like him. <laughs> oh, relax. I'm just messing with you. Shall we get started? Uh. Sure. I'm all ears. Her train's fun. My training method is simple. Just grab whatever you can, swing it around, and throw it until everything's smashed, like to hell. Sounds like you just... Sounds like just taking your frustration out on things. But I guess there's gotta be more to it than that. Does this help you improve furniture when you go to collect? Ooh. Pretty much. It takes muscle and explosive force to grab heavy objects and swing them around quickly. This gives you the oomph you need. Uh. I see. No taking your time with it, either. You have to be under pressure as if it's a real situation. Or there's no point to the training. A real situation? You mean when collecting a debt? I guess you're pretty used to, to a rough time. Hey, don't act like you don't know. I may even call on you to help me out sometime. Daddy. Huh? You want me to go out and collect for you? Let's not jump to any guns here. First, I want you to do this. Training to get a feel for it, alright? Uh. Yeah, got it. We'll switch with a primer this way. The mannequins are filled with play money, which bursts out when you break them. The boxes have money in them, too. You have to smash all the mannequins before time runs out and recover a set amount of money. You good to start? Uh. Basically, we run up to a box, grab it, and start smashing away on a mannequin. That's all it is. I think I might have failed. Because I didn't smash this big one. What do you think? Pretty tough training, right? Uh. Yeah. I haven't done anything like this one. Then I'll make it even harder next time. Be uh. ready. Great. By the way, I'll have to ask you to pay if you want to keep going.
going with this. I can only do so much charity work. Understood. Uh. Yeah, sounds good. Miss Tatsu's training. We're going beast mode. Okay, we gotta get one million yen. And it's gonna cost a hundred thousand. And yeah, the price is gonna increase every time. There we go. And we made our target of one million. <laughs> Not bad. You're getting the hang of a more aggressive fighting style. Here's a little something for you. Take I don't know where we were at. Was it Park Boulevard then? Because I know we had to go to the ho uh, yeah, it was Park Boulevard East. I should, whatever. At least I'm. more CP get into chapter 5 and beyond kind of deal ah beast man <laughs> just be lucky she takes like 10% of what the target value is so I'm pretty sure she'll take like I'm pretty sure she takes like 10% anyways oh that way not whatever I'm just rambling trying to not even thinking of where I'm going whoa whoa Well, here's the camping district. The Tachibana real estate guys have apparently been coming here a lot lately. It's worth a walk around to see. Let me just go this way and then this way. And then we go right down in this alley. Mm. You lost friend? Why are you here? There's no place in this neighborhood that'll serve a Yakuza like you. I've heard men from Tachibana Real Estate have been coming around lately. Are they here now? What? You another Tojo boy? 
Yes, so no, you. actually. I'm and I'm not here to chase anybody out of town. Sure. So why are you attacking, asking after Tachibana's guys then? I just want to know more about them. I promise I won't make any trouble. Right. Kiryu, when are you going to learn that whatever you do is just asking for trouble? Not the warmest welcome I've gotten. We're sick and tired of the, you Yakuza. You don't give a rat's ass about it, any of the businesses here. But this place is all we've got left. If you want us out of here so bad, you'll just have to kill us. I told you, I'm only here to talk about ta to Tachibana's... Cut the shit, man. Your assholes never... Whatever. Boom, boom, and down for the count you go. Next. Boom. Down again, and down again. What? What is this guy? Are you finally ready to hear me out? I didn't come here looking to hurt anybody. All I want is to know what Tachibana Real Estate is up to here. That's it. I'm not selling them out to you, and neither will anybody else in this neighborhood. Hmm? Wait, aren't they trying to chase you all out too? No, they're... They're trying to protect us from getting run out by the Yakuza. The district's only still standing right now because of them. What? Isn't that right, Oda-san? Even then. Well, if it isn't the guy from Namase's bar, t thought you said you weren't Yakuza. Apparently, it's hard for people to believe, but I'm not. Used to be in the Dojima family, though. Shit, the Dojima family? Of all the Tojo groups around, why did I... I was expelled, though. Got nothing to do with them now. So what's the next Akuzo sniffing around after us? Your boss asked me to partner with him. What? What's your name, kid? It's Kiryu. Well, I haven't heard a word about this. Stay put. I understand. That's how I, how I I'll proceed. Yes, sir. What did he have to say? You said if you want to know more about us, you should come by the place you met him last night. He'll meet with you himself. Yeah. All right. Just don't come back around here. The people in this place just don't take kindly. I hear it's you guys protecting the district from the Yakuza. there any truth to that? Some. The boss has his policies. Policies? He says the people in this district have been here since before Kamarocha burned down in the war. That this place was the mo root of the whole town's grown out of it. He says newcomers like us have no right to meddle here. That's quite a change from your attitude at the other place. <laughs> the Hakua building? Ha, please. The tents there all drifted into town looking to cash in. You saw the guy at Namase Bar, didn't you? Sure, he played I'm the poor civilian victim role, but how do you think they got those locations? By chasing out the people who were there? I call it karma. 
Not that my philosophy really factors in. I'm just following the boss's orders. But you're saying you guys play by a set of rules. My name's Oda. I've been with the present Tachibana for a long time now. I run on some acquisitions at most places. So, what's it going to be? You going to meet with the boss or not? I'll meet him. I got plenty more to ask. Seems like Tachibana real estate's harder to figure out than I thought. Oop, 100,000 yen. And... Darn it. Yummy. A special drink given to you by Miss Tatsu. It charges up your heat dramatically. About to see how dramatic when we get there. Yeah, if you want to call it a curb stomp. But we curb stomp that guy with a trash can. Not really, not really that that was an actual curb stomp, but that's what it called it, so. Took his time getting up. Pop. There we go. Oh, I have the least amount of heat that I can acquire. Now then, Miss Tatsu's special branded drink. Bam. And enter. That Oda guy said if I want in if I wait in the penthouse here, Tachibani will show up. Anything I'm forgetting before I head up, just go on in. I'm good. Let's go. You know what? You don't Not like we're gonna fighting with anything. Right? Tachibana's a friend. Not like he's gonna send Guy after guy to fight me along the way, right? Mm. 
Look, it was Tachiban who invited me here. Aren't you with his real estate agency? The president isn't in. I heard he's coming later. He told me to wait for him up in the penthouse. <laughs> I'm afraid you're mistaken, sir. What? One of our co-workers, Oda, left us very clear instructions. He said a young thug would come in barging in and that we should... Oda said what now? This is your chance to pull an about face, pal. Leave quietly and I'll just watch you walk away. Dude, your ear's broken? I said you'd get the hell out. He heard you. Getting bounced at the door from a party I was in. Oh, I told you, nobody invited you here, asshole. It's Oda's test of getting in. Move. Talking to you is a waste of time. Mm. Nope. Beast mode. Grab one guy and start going. Boom. Three guys down. More to go. Is that you, Oda? Yo. Yo. Did you have the guys downstairs attack me? Why? Hey, you did your homework on us. I figured it was only fair that we got the chance to take a look at the goods, too. I mean, it's clear you're pretty good in a fight, but good enough to merit President Tachibana personally recruiting you? I just don't know. And you thought no, having your crew attack me? Not really. Some things you just gotta do for yourself. I guess I'll tell you, it's tough not being able to delegate. The real real estate business in Kamarach is a rough scene, but it works out. Seeing as my blood boils hotter than your average Yakuza. So you're more than just a crooked suit, is that it? Oh, I'm nothing special. But I am the perfect match for a half-assed ex-Yakuza. In that case, I guess neither of us needs to hold back. Bring whatever you've got. This is so not cheating. the sofa give him the chair here you go 
is the chair! Don't worry, we only broke a chair and a sofa. Everything should be fine, and the chair that I grabbed is not broken. And the sofa I grabbed is still there. <sighs> I told a rookie one on one, and he wins. You gotta be kidding! Oda. Are you satisfied, Oda san? Very. He's, well, he's got the me beat, boss. What's going on here? You signed off on Oda testing me like this? Correct. Oda-san is an invaluable to me. He is practically one of my limbs. Thus, I needed his approval before I could officially welcome you into the, our circle. Is that so? I'm beginning to feel more and more like an idiot. I was about ready to put my trust in you people until a few minutes ago. Tachibana? Isn't it about time we dropped the secrecy? Why did you approach me? I need the reason. Very well. But first let me ask you this. What is Kamurocho in your eyes? Kamurocho? I didn't say. I don't follow your question. I have a theory, Kiryu-san. I see this place as a feeding ground for the Dojima family and the other Tojo entities. People flock to this neon paradise bearing their money. The streets are awash in it, and the Tojo Yakuza drink it all up every last drop. What are you getting at? The Tojo clan's power has encapsulated the city. I aim to crack it open. Like so. Whoa, a blackout? What the hell? No way, what's going on? Money is power. I intend to see just how far my own power can get me against the Tojo clan. I'm afraid the present answer is not very. As it stands, I can manage a meager 10 seconds. But by securing the empty lot, I plan to stake my claim among those who control Kamurocho. Such is the value of that patch of land. Just who are you? <laughs> Kiryu-san, I do not know who, how aware you are, but the Tojo clan is far from united. By way of evidence, I would offer the name of one Tojo member acting as my ally. In fact, it was at his insistence that I was led to approach you in the first place. So you've got a mole inside the Tojo clan. Who is it? The man who wishes to see the two of us allied. Is the Tojo clan's Dojima family captain. Kazuma, Kazuma Shintaro. 
What? Cosmosan? His captain. The Dojima Lieutenant Kuze-san approached you to spy on Kazuma-san for him, didn't he? To expect to extract from Kazuma-san the information he possesses on the empty lot. The secret information in Kazuma-san's possession is the identity of the person able to locate the owner of the lot. In other words, me. You. In the race to secure the empty lot, we have made far greater progress than that of the Dojima family. Of course, the moment they learn of that, they will be quite furious and will turn their... <sighs> Nevertheless, that you and I would join hands, despite that fact, was Kazuma-san's ultimate wish. It was half a year ago that Kazuma-san entrusted you to my care, before he departed for prison, of course. Even then, he knew with the consider considerable certainty that Kuze would set his sights on you that and that you would find yourself unable. That's crazy. Not even he could possibly have seen all that coming. Kazuma-san is a man capable of rising to the very top. Not only of the Dojo family, but of the Tojo clan itself. His abilities and wisdom cannot be overstated. To him, pre preceding the events that would unfold around you was a simple endeavor. What's more, I am certain that his motives for acquiring the empty lot far, go far beyond merely protecting his own position. Knowing him, his designs are in service of something far greater than if he's so all-knowing, why is he in prison? That must be another necessary step in his trail. That is what is what I believe. What? That's insane! Have I earned your understanding, Kiryu-san? Tachibana. What proof have you got that you're the guy Kazuma-san entrusted all this to? Kazuma-san led me to believe that his this would serve as sufficient proof. Th that watch. You are familiar with it, I believe. To Kazuma-san, from Sawamura Yumi-san, it was a present, or so I have heard. And Kazuma-san gave it to you. I merely took care of it until I could pass it on to you. I ask that you would return it to Kazuma-san directly. Once all this is been settled. I guess. I still don't have any clue just what kind of man Kazuma-san really is. But if he wants something from me, I'm ready to do it, even if it costs me my life. That's something I decided the day I went against his wishes and joined the Yakuza. In that case, I am pleased to count on you as an ally, Kiryu-san. There. Chapter 2 complete. And for completion bonus, we earned 3 million yen. We'll see. We don't need 3 million a lot more than 30 million. We we need 30s. We need 30 million. We need 100 mil. Anyways, after all that we earned through battle and all that we earned through the chapter completion and yeah, earned through business and mini games, 
That's gonna be a while. Mini games is a different story though. But hey, we earned so much money that all that was worth four thirty million ninety seven key grand pianos. Four ninety seven key grand pianos. Four of them that cost thirty million yen. That is so three, six, nine, twelve. You know, save the Yeah, that is me up there. Mr. or Mrs. BDO WWBX Box W O B W. Uh, duh, of course we want to override our save. It's not like we need another save. It's not like we need multiple saves. I don't know why you, why some people do multiple saves. It's not like a game like this has multiple uh, different endings or anything like that or anything special. A Gilded Cage, Chapter Three. Certain body. I can't really read the. Uh, I'm, I'm covering that. Cabaret Grand. Oh, sorry. Hold on, I, that thing's in the way. There we go. Chug, 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 chug. Wow, this place is amazing. Not even Tokyo has anything I've ever seen like this. No surprise here. There's, she's the number one club in town. <clears throat> a trip to Sotenburi, that doesn't end in a trip to the Grand, like Takoyaki. We put you through the trouble. The least we can do is make. So let's get to it. Say, uh, are you certain this is safe? Aren't there a lot of, you know, what, around here? Aw, oh, don't even sweat it. Honestly, Chief, how many times will you make me say it before you believe me? Yes, but isn't Sotenbori supposed to be the Omi Alliance's backyard? I've heard this whole town is just crawling with Yakuza. And this sort of establishment in particular. Take the booth over there. He's got to be Yakuza. I think it'd best be I ha if I had it back. It's fine. I'm serious. Sure, we've got some rougher clubs in town, but this place is absolutely safe. Guaranteed. And yeah, yeah, that guy was probably a mobster, but they all behave themselves here. You're awfully adamant about this place. Details, no more worrying, you hear? Now let's have a seat and get things rolling. Come on, take a load off. 
Still, though. Evening. Excuse us. Are we interrupting? N no. Good evening. Nice, huh? Prettiest girls in town here. The chief here is a big man at one of Tokyo's biggest firms. Go on, now's your chance to get in the mood. Oh, so he is someone important. I thought so, just from the look of him. You're here all the way from Tokyo? That's so cool. Do you come here often? Oh no, just a chance business trip. And only to this club because... Yep, so if you two don't help me make it a great night, my reputation's shot. I'm counting on you. Uh-oh, that's a lot of responsibility. Well, well, let's start with drinks then, hmm? What will it be? Hmm, let's see. Hmm, 100,000 for champagne. That's really up there, isn't it? In that case, let's go with champagne. Wait, wait, are you sure? It's a hundred thousand! No problem, no problem. Can't have you worrying about the bill, Chief. You just focus on having a good time. Champagne it is. Thanks so much. But will one bottle be enough? What? True, we've got a Tokyo bigwig here with us. A single bottle would go awful fast. He'll think us Osakans are all cheapskates. Ladies, please. Hmm, you make a valid point. Yep, very convincing. So be it. Let's do this right. A bottle each. Four bottles then. What, you two get your own? Oh fine, four bottles it is. Wow, spoken like a true man. We're ready to order. <laughs> this club is great, very lively. But last time I was in town, I'd never even heard of it. Uh, it was only recently that this place really picked up. Oh, really? Yes, sir. The management changed, and then boom. That's so. Does the manager really make that much difference? He poached his best, the best girls from the other clubs. Also did things you shouldn't talk about if the rumors are true. He took what used to be a big, sad, empty box of a place and brought it all the way up to the top. He must be quite the businessman. Oh, he is. Our manager's famous. Anyone in the nightlife business here knows about him. Is that so? <laughs> I hope I'm lucky enough to meet him sometime then. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> hey, I said that's enough. <coughs> I'm paying good money here. Just let me get a decent handful. Come on, you're enjoying it anyway, aren't you? Like how I am, let go. <laughs> Sir, the establishment has a firm no touching policy. Please restrain yourself. Look, I'm warning you here. <laughs> eh? You warning me you'll do what if I don't stop? <laughs> You're getting my money. Quit your griping. <laughs> Alright, asshole. You see that? What part of this is okay? We should get out of all the spots to start something. Don't sweat it, Chief. It'll be over in a sec. How can you be so sure? Because he'll come and handle it. Him. Him. <laughs>
<laughs> Him? That guy? Is he supposed to be the muscle? Sir? Your patronage here today is much appreciated. Thank you. The hell are you? A bouncer or something? A common mistake. But a mistake nonetheless. Yeah? Then what the hell are ya? <laughs> My apologies. I am the manager of this cabaret. My name is Majima. You're the manager? Wait, that's the famous guy? <laughs> what, they got Yakuza running this place? I apologize for the crude impression I give. Despite appearances, I am assuredly... I must ask that you refrain from touching an acts of violence while you, you are our guest. If it bothers you that much, why don't you try stopping me by force, huh? Or is that face of yours? I'm afraid I can't do that, sir. The customer is king. The customer is king, you see. Oh? Quite a policy you got there. <laughs> Real impressive. I'm a big fan. Here, this one's my treat. Drink up, friend. <laughs> well, how do you like your king now? Very kind of you, sir. I had always said I love this brand so much. I wish I could bathe in it. You've made a dream come true. Smug prick, you got some balls. Damn. Sir, I must repeat my earlier request. Perhaps you've had enough fun for one evening. If you insist on interrupting our business here any further, then you'll do what, huh? If that's how you want it. Boys! Give me one with a beat. <laughs> What? If you insist that I overstep my station, sir, then I, Majima, shall d dance with you. I will not, however, raise a hand against you. <laughs> After all, the customer is king. You still going on with that, smart-ass bastard? <laughs> it's showtime! <laughs> the first law of management the customer is king even if punched or kicked reprisal is out of the questions for now watch the customer to make a move and evade their attacks using X gotta just hit the evade button I, I did dodge one and it didn't even... <sighs> Okay, fine. Do it this way. We'll do movements. Instead of just pressing. God damn it. 
There we go. The second law of management, the customer is king. Even in the worst of times, you must never forget to provide only the finest service possible. Patience shall be rewarded, as now it is time to show all your customers the ultimate in hospitality. Right here, sir. It's king, right? I think you've had enough. Would you like a towel, sir? The hell is with you? God damn it! <laughs> you little. Stop screwing with me! For your own safety, I'll hold on to this. Thank you, sir. On your feet, asshole. We're marching you to the cops. Serves you right. Suck it. Your attention, please. As you've seen, this gentleman violated several cabaret rules and has caused a disturbance for you all. We would like to justify turn them in to the police, yes? However, I ask instead for your comp your compassion. What? But why? If the gentleman were to give, he would lose the social standing a, a lifetime of hard work he has built. Is that not too harsh a punishment for a single evening's misguided actions? Instead, I would ask the gentleman a favor. Me? Yes, as the customer is in the nightlife, I ask that you make amends for soured wine with fresh wine. That you cover this evening's tab for the club and treat everyone here to a night's li libations. As head of the sales for Soten Pharmaceuticals HQ, I imagine your annual entertainment budget clears 100. Hey, that's my... When did you... I do not wish to see a customer made a criminal. However, I must also ensure that the other patrons enjoy themselves. I understand that th this is a selfish request, <laughs> but please, will you grant me this indulgence? Yeah, alright. If everyone, everybody's okay with it, I'd like you to let me buy you for all tonight. Would that be enough to make up to you guys? My sincere thanks. You have all heard the gentleman's appeal. Ladies and gentlemen, what say you? Guy gets to walk free, but he got he's gotta pay for everyone's tab here. My humblest thanks. I am deeply touched by the generosity of your hearts tonight. If you would, a round of applause for the gentleman's courage. And now, please continue to enjoy your evening. So that's the manager? Yep. I see what you mean now. I can understand how this place got to be number one under him. That's what everybody says after seeing him in action. 
Manager of the Grand Cabaret. Goro Majima. Soten Bori's own Lord of the Night. Something's broken, but whatever. I'm not gonna complain. <laughs> and I'll be stopping as soon as we can move. Thank you for resolving that, sir. I'm sorry. How's the floor looking? People calm down? Yes, sir. Not much different than before the incident, though. Orders are pouring in now that they're... I'll bet. <coughs> Any injuries? No, nope, sir. Ono got shoved and took, out, took the spell. See the... That Maki gets a bonus tonight. Nothing kills morale like getting... Of course. I've already taken the liberty. Good. Otherwise, just tell him to keep an eye on Captain Grabass. I got his card, but that don't mean he ain't stupid enough. Already done as well, sir. Nice. And how's the staff looking these days? No major concerns to speak of, although, out with it. The hostess we got in last month, Kane-chan, she seems to be butting heads with some of the other girls, especially... This shit again? Hurting these women is gonna be... put me... I tried to speak with her about it, but she's tenacious. All right, fine. I'll go drop some wisdom. <clears throat> Sorry to trouble you with it, sir. That's all from me. May as well go see her now and get this over with. She's probably in, her, in the dressing room. There we go. I'll just hit the save. We'll say right here, like I said. I, I, I know we just saved, and, but do you really want to wa watch me do all that again? All that, um, fighting that guy and doing the, doing the tutorial again? Ugh. I, that's just ugh, you know? So there. Saved. There we go. And, boop. So now we are Goro Majima, Majima-san. There we go. So, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We just saved. So there you go. That was the introductory. Now we gotta play all the sub stories as Goro Majima. But. Pretty soon we'll be able to swap characters eventually. Like, we'll be able to s jump from Ka uh, Kazuma Kiryu to Goro Majima. Okay? So, yep.
pretty soon we will be able to, and that probably won't be until sometime after Chapter 5. Because, you know, they got a base, basically the two got to meet up. They'll basically like meet up like, like it was, it's more like a, a high buy kind of meet up. <clears throat> okay. This game basically explains about the next game, which is technically the very first game. Because the fact being is that there's a... When the original first game came out, it was just Yakuza 1. Okay? And there was nothing about it. Nothing special. But Goro Majima showed up. Okay? But then they added a DLC to it, or an add-on, or whatever, or something. And it was basically called Majima Everywhere. So, they... And it was just basically Majima just showed up to... It was just a, an, a side thing added into the game of the base game where Goro just kept ambushing Kiryu the whole time. Well, this game explains why Goro Majima here is showing up everywhere in the next first game. It explains that DLC, but through this game, okay? And why he's showing up, okay? Because they actually meet in this. That's why this game came out. It came out later because you know pe people are like wondering how did how, how does because the f original game came out and then the add-on came out. People are now sitting there wondering how how did Goro meet Maji how did Goro Majima here meet Cosmic Kiryu? Well, this game explains it near the end. So, but anyways, I, I'm spoiling a little bit too much there, but. It all does happen, but anyways, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hope you had fun watching, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye.